<laughs> Twitch. Sorry, I'm indifferent not face. Yeah, my Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, what I mean, like my Twitch. Ken, like. Ken, what you mean, Ken, like. Twitch, <laughs> 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 oh, Twitch, in here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Uh, I have family in Fife. How dare you all? Yeah, I <laughs> my, my, my father grew up in Fife. Um, the family I have moved to Fife, though, as opposed to necessarily being. I would to the Bairns. The Bairns. The Bairns. Bairns. Bombs, not Bairns. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hello, everybody. <laughs> Good hello, everybody. I can tell. What are you allowed to? Big, big hello. We're, we all have to now apparently do that. Bear and ready. <laughs> oh, <doesn't laughs> <come> on then. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, here we are. Ah, oh, these intros, do you know, I think I just, I don't know if it's just that I get more tired or they get harder. I, I, it could be both. Um, That's what she said. Sure. Uh, anyway, welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity featuring Winter Ryan, where I will live in this jumper now until it gets warmer. Uh, it is session 79, I think, which is crazy. Uh, we are on the 7th of December 2020, uh, which I think technically is two days away, maybe? Maybe it's two days away from, like, Callum's anniversary? I think. Was you the 9th no of December? Knows. I don't remember. What was the date? Let me scroll back up to the, the top of the track. Uh, I think so. I can't uh, remember. No, 19th and 21st. Oh, uh, that was the That was the flashback. We did, and wormhole situation. We've missed by a mile, so you were in for like all of chapter two, weren't you? Yeah. So yeah. So you. I was. I was present for wormhole, but I was in on the twelfth. So the twelfth cool. will be my. So you've already had your anniversary, screen. and your official solo one is probably what I was thinking of, which is the nineteenth of December. Okay. Yeah. So that's where we are. So you're now officially a two-year-older. As well, officially. It's just a wee bear. I am Ziggy Bear. <laughs> what was that, Callum? You're almost what? Sorry. Godler. Oh no, I'm saying, uh, yeah, I am, but Zig is Zig is not. Zig's still got uh, a week to go. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, and such, and so forth. Things and Ryan, stuff. the GM. Here are the players. <laughs> All right, hey, my name's Nico. Hi. Uh, no. <laughs> Ken, what do you mean, like? <laughs> Hello. My name's Nico. Fucking hell. And I'm playing Zora, the best captain. <laughs> the best captain. Who? Who's that? Who's that? Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Alex. Coming at you with those Monday vibes. Uh, and I will be playing Weird, the android mechanic. You disgusting worms! I can read in 12 different languages! Hello, well, I am Colin, cute. and <laughs> I will be playing Lyco Quint, your resident sneaky spooky uh, space cop, ghost to ghost. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's Callum. Yet again, I will be playing Zig, the Burning Sun, also known as Commodore Chief Mystic Officer the Burning. And the Radiator. <laughs> the Radiator Supreme, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the Radiator I am Supreme. the Radiator Supreme. Welcome to Winter Starfinder, uh, everybody. Yeah, me Before and me. Star, please buy more of me merchandise. Uh. If I had merch, I'd tell you to buy it. Yeah, buy our merch. It's called Please Donate. Um, Country Life Butter or some shit. <laughs> donate now, and you might one day eventually be able to buy merch. Yeah, maybe. Not from us. No, from, from somebody. <laughs> from someone. You can buy merch. <laughs> If you give us money, you can buy merch from anyone else. We're not saying that if you don't give us money, you won't still be able to do that. But we're just also kind of implying if you mm. could give us you money. You might come around your house to take your merch away. Yeah. What he said, but without the threat or the libel. 
<laughs> um, I know. There's no libel there. If you want libel, we can do libel. I mean, no, I don't want. You know, I don't want no, libel. No, because this is the United Kingdom. Um, so I would suggest not. That just, just put uh, rules against libel. It makes me think back to the IT crowd episode where the fire breaks out, and then they go to put it out with a fire extinguisher. And he goes, okay, point nozzle at fire. And then he does that, and then the fire extinguisher catches fire and goes, that's an odd thing to happen. And then he checks the uh, fire extinguisher, and it says made in Britain. He's like, ah, I'll just sit you over here with the rest of the fire. And that just really (laughs) summed up my thoughts on the phrase the United Kingdom, to be honest. Um, So anyway, what do you remember from last time? Uh, Right, there was a lot of scheming. There's another planet scheming episode of trying to break out query with the alerting. Oh, yes. And um, honestly, that was most of the session. And then it turns out that query's an absolute fucking heat case in uh, planning. Query Hulk, Terry. Uh, Query's a lunatic. Poor. Oh, he must die. In the interest of buying time. Yeah. That was <laughs> the line. True. Which I liked as a title, but we went for a thing, different title. something else. Yep. Super. The other one. Massive. <laughs> super Colossal Ultra Not. Yeah, yeah, Super Oh, massive yes! Title. Okay, um, yeah, no, that's, I, I remember why now. That's mm-hmm. good. The Super Colossal Ultra Not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So, anything else happened last time? No. Uh, no happened last time. Um, CC has legs. Yeah. Um, it I mean, appears that Emma O came on that uh, the oxygen ship. The super close Yeah. So I was actually the part that I never actually caught. It. I mean. So sad. Uh, it, it appears. It appears. She, not like she just yeah. ran. She, she might just also run and live be on a shuttle nearby, right? Who can truly see? Who knows? Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe your ship is actually cloaked nearby. Hmm? Like when you big click on axe ships. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yep. Um. And, uh, yeah, and there was some hemming and hawing over whether or not he should rejoin the Viscarium, and if so, which team? Oh, yeah, there was that, that as well, yeah. He yeah, being Zora, probably. yeah. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, I mean, he could have referred to any of us, admittedly, other than me, because I It was said... just, it, honestly, it sounded like it referred to Query, because he was the only mentioned yeah, person Query. at that point, so, yeah. Uh, Query has joined, um... The resistance. Sure. I don't think that happened, but sure. <laughs> Unless are used the resistance? Are you officially I welcoming? Don't think so. Yeah. We're resisting something. It's probably me, right? And my, yes. <laughs> <laughs> my desire for progress, I think. Remember the famous <laughs> bit in that film that no one's actually ever seen that had the guy that died in it? Yeah. He says, but you know, know. somebody asks him, What are you rebelling against? And he's like, What do you got? Yeah. That, that's. That's what we're resisting. Yeah, sure. Okay. We're resisting watching that movie. I understand. Yes. Um, it's quite easy, actually. Yeah. Um, Who knew every day I was resisting that? Um, I've never resisted so easily. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Callum. Okay, but here we are. <laughs> wow. um, Take that as you will, internet. Or don't, ideally. Please, um, don't. Please don't, actually. But anything else then? So we've got. Curry seemed to be more capable than Light On, or just more unpredictable than more expected. Yeah. Than light on. yeah. The dangerosity value went up. Yep. How glad are we now that he chose to use a a jank uh, blunderbuss <laughs> rather than, you know, rip the stewards <laughs> apart, with, apart his bare with his hands. arms? <laughs> Probably by screaming, uh, I, I think, I have to imagine. No. Quick CC, give me something that I can't do too much damage with. I'm too dangerous to be kept alive. <laughs> Mood. I mean, yeah, right? Hashtag. Although I feel like if he'd hulked out, would it have been 
Isabel that got ripped apart, probably, right? Yeah. And I don't oh, think, man. I was going to say, I don't think Alex would have hated that, um, <laughs> necessarily. Poor Isabel. Alex might have. Uh -huh. Weird. Yeah. yeah, but you are piloting weird. I'm just going to highlight that. You are piloting weird. Um, or oh, weird piloting me. I mean, fair, given... This is a question for yeah. my therapist, I feel. Yeah, when are they making their NPC character to join us, right? Um, <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, Alice, I think, arguably would be a terrible character to give them, but also oh, yeah. possibly the best. Uh -huh. but I'm yeah. sure there's some sort of analysis you can do on like the personality of the NPCs to... like. I, I don't know if I want to be attacked like that, Callum. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um... I'm sure if you watched all of our videos, right? Um, because I don't think we're missing. If, if you watched all of our videos, we're not missing um, any, yeah. right? Like I think we've got everything loaded up. Because I know I'm missing right. one from my Friday, um, one, which is annoying. But I think we've got all the videos for this, and I'm sure a psychologist could go and work through and pour uh, them man, as they did. You can't, can't diagnose at a distance. I feel like people have. Not yeah, necessarily. You can. Such a bad psychologist. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this is a good project for a student who, like, you know, needs to do something for their exams and doesn't. Like, like a random dissertation student. piece. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good luck, I guess. Yeah. Um, if you've got this far, by the way, and sorry, we've just acknowledged what your your super cool unique idea was. Just pretend we didn't have it here. Feel free to edit us out. They're not going to go listen yeah. to this, so don't worry. They will not fact check listen. you. Yeah, they never check those <laughs> dissertations. Yeah. No. In worst <laughs> case, send them to the recap episode a few yeah. episodes back. Or start them at the beginning, and when they see how many videos there are, they won't watch any this high up. Don't worry, we know that. Yeah. Also, we'll name it something like the dissertation, right? <laughs> that might be considered a giveaway. So, just so you know. But then they won't look at that one specifically. Right, because of course they wouldn't look at the one called the dissertation. Anyway, we'll edit all this out anyway. Welcome to Starfinder: The Fragments of Eternity, the real start. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if that's the if that's what we've caught up on, good. If nothing else happened of importance, cool. Let's look at goals. What is in place this week? Goals. The goals. <sighs> so, talk me through your goals, personal people. If I get a crap, sort of crap. Uh, play the done this session. Yeah, cool. Uh, Lyco? The. Why? I nearly said. Frying. I don't Fuck know. Sake. Retrieve <laughs> Cindio's electroencephalon. I don't know why I got blamed for that there, or was that just like an <laughs> exhalation? <laughs> it was, oh. you put, I was. I, I tabbed out and I looked at the. Well, do you know something? The most recent thing in That's tab. your fault. Um, Is it? Mm -hmm. I think it's the weird. I'm gonna sell spines out the back of a van. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. That's true. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> more. I was gonna say more liable. Now I had to hesitate. Is it though? Mm. It's fine. You can't lie about town. Uh, um. <laughs> right. So. You can individually. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through them all one by one. Oh, that'd be a good dissertation. I actually have. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I do. Zig? Uh, and yes, uh, go get blood checked in Hive Market. Mm. Um, do you know when I said Zig there, I was kind of expecting your intro. That's how messed up my brain is right now. And I was like, oh. Hi there, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Zig, the mystical space rat from the sun. Your, your boy with the, the, the hoys and the Radiation and heart the of iron. Heart of hearts. You said hoy. Like, did we the do all the intros? Have it, did, did I just skip all the intros in my brain? I know we no, did. No, we did that. Don't worry. Don't panic. panic. Okay. Don't, good. Good. Don't, I'll believe you. It's fine. Um, general goals. Oh, forgot, folks. El Golinos General. See one of the ones we're trying to assassinate. General goals. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, down with your goals. Also, down with my NPC names, that's way easier to see. <laughs> <laughs> Senor General Goals! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Good, I like it. Okay, further is going to just have to be uh, 
going through a name change, I think. Um, but anyway, yeah, so what have we got, guys? Right, off screen. Please name them. Speak with Ramaseth. Yeah, yeah. Prepare the bark for Eox. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Immediately! Keep Query out of Asp's hands. Clean up with Demogesh. <laughs> Retrieve valuable objects from Eox for trade with uh, potentially Q. Q Bob. Slammy boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I should, yeah, Bob to give him his proper name. Q Bob. It's spelled <laughs> Raymond Luxury Act because it's pronounced Throat Warbler Mango. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, people could play Joke Bingo on this now. You know that, That's right? a joke. I mean, it's not so even thank a joke. You, Nico. It's, just a, it's just a thing that I frequently quote. And generally... That's not. quite a creepy, like, emote, isn't it? <laughs> That's like <laughs> some kind of creepy tiny child. Tiny? Uh, mm. <laughs> oh, wow. You got a prime sub from a certain Nico. I did indeed. Um, Many of the things. We can get a goose. Thank you. I will accept this That's goose as sacrifice. I'll just put this in. This is this is one of my favourites. Twenty twenty suspicious me as well. As we just now chat to ourselves on Twitch. Yep. <laughs> this is that quality like content you come for. Allowed with words right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, really, it's no different. Yep, perfect. Thank you, Carl. Fantastic. Um, Great. Anyway, uh, yeah, so goals. Uh, those are done and in place. And More like my old link. <laughs> An accent of saying <laughs> Lenovo. <laughs> um, it's actually Mind Zelda, but never mind. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Zelda was the sled. Yeah. Did you say Zelda? Is that what you said there? <laughs> it sounded Zelda like Zelda. Hey, I'm gonna to, to, to play the Zelda. <laughs> yeah, Zelda, hey, big Zelda. Hey. I, oh, I got my hoagie. I, uh, no. I, I <laughs> so if the Boston accent is Warlocks, what's the New Yorker accent? Right? If we're gonna D D class them. Like What is I get right, see if you wanna make like a New England accent. Right? See, I've discovered this. That's a New England accent. Sort of annoying. Uh, if you take, like, a, <laughs> the word forced, and rather than saying forced, you say foist. That's how... Foist. Like that? Yeah. Foist me! Foist. In, 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 some, in some places, like, foist would be, like, first. Like, in New York, it'd be, like, first. But if you want to do, like, a sort of main, sort of up that way, kind of Vermont kind of accent, foist as forced works. Okay. <laughs> it was some of them anyway, I'm not really that up on them, but I've noticed, okay. noticed that. Foist. Foist. Okay. But he foisted yeah. upon me. It's I don't know if I can like extrapolate me. the rest of like a... Oh no, that the became... Ability, the ability to add yeah, mine became Australian there. Yeah. It was terrible. <laughs> so, so uh, Starfinder. Yeah, Starfinder. Yeah. The Fragments of Eternity. <laughs> Would it be the frogments then, if you were to do the same to that? Would that be it? The or like the... I don't have a joke. Yeah, okay. That's good enough. Um, do we ever? <laughs> I guess the idea that this was a game at some point, maybe? Yep. <laughs> uh, we were the fragments of eternity all along. Yeah, we were the friendship made along the way or something. Maybe um, the it's Maybelline, friendship. You're right was the fragments you made uh, along eternity. Or it's maybe just the unfragmenting of our sanity. That should have been the title. Maybe the eternity is the fragments of our friends. Sure, yeah. Something about that, maybe. Less bleak, though, maybe. Um, <laughs> or more bleak, I don't know. I just feel like the bleak scale was off, so I don't care which way it goes, but let's let's move it somewhere. It's a Monday, <laughs> it's 2020. Yeah. That's, that's there is no more sunlight. Hmm. Why, why, <laughs> why are you like? Is it the intro to a, a YA dystopian novel as well? I, I, was, actually, I was actually thinking it was like Rorschach's journal. <laughs> I think I stand by what I said then. Must investigate further. Um, oh dear. I don't actually want Alamur to come for me in my nightmares, so I, I won't actually poke at him. Anyway. Let's not libel him. No. I would never libel a uh, notoriously grumpy author, uh, Alan Moore. 
And I what would you libel? Dan Brown. Not checking no. around. Uh, no. Oh, uh, we all know that Dan Brown would be incredulous at the affair, though, right? Uh, so. <laughs> JK, I, I, I like your crime books. Uh, no, if you're, if you're no, watching. no, we're moving on. Let's not inflame everything further. So, <laughs> let's... most controversial take from me this year. That <laughs> uh, okay, so where were we in the fragments of eternity? I know where we were. We were watching. Uh, fuck, I can't remember your name now. Weird. There Weird. We go. There's blood. It's, there's we're watching Weird just slowly wrong. LED blink at the situation that unfolded in front of him as the desk got smashed into the wall and Emma O pinned against the wall, her head ripped bloodily from her body. And then a uh, query turned around and probably said something game ending. So and cliffhangery. Racist. Probably not racist. I believe um he said something along the lines of super colossal ultranaut. Yeah, it just looked right into the camera. Super colossal ultranaut. And then the Muse track started playing, and then yeah, yeah he looked at the camera and said, uh, "Plug in, baby," um, <laughs> which I thought was weird for an Android. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Paranoid Android as well. Just let's just segue know, yeah. into uh, Radiohead. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Anyway. So weird. Yeah. We blink slowly. Looks up at Query and just says, "Have you always been able to do that?" Like adjust the tie that he's obviously been fashioned with. Um, and not only it's a clip on though, for some obvious reasons. Oh, it's magnetic. Yeah, um, yeah, just just clacks on. It's kind of rude to give an android that, isn't it? Really? Um, don't know how androids feel about magnets. Um, but yeah, so he makes them sing folk music. <laughs> Fair. And uh, he has the he kind of like adjusts the suit a bit because it's obviously not a perfect fit. It's clearly just you know on demand formal wear, and um, he like cracks his neck, rubs his stubble again. You hear the kind of like almost tinkling of the the metal that plinks back into place. And he says, more or less, you should go now. Tell the guard outside that. I asked for him um, one-on-one -on -one time with the diplomat. That should buy you enough time to get off the ship. Wait, so you've been pretending to be incompetent? And kind of like, he opens his mouth and goes to say something, then he stops himself, and he says, I think I just left the assumptions up to you. You should go. Stand out grumbling that we could have used somebody with some competence. And then leave. Mm -hmm. And I, obviously, I assume you try and body block the guard from seeing into the room I'm on the way out. I, I assume that I body block everyone generally. I mean, keep in mind, though, size. Like, you do have quite a wide frame in general, even without the yeah. large, like, stature, without the armor. Like, you, you are just a guy with two sets of yep. shoulders. So, um, yeah, and you step outside and you see a man, what was her name? I have it written down somewhere. What did we call her? Durant. Officer Durant looks at you and she says, everything okay? Yes, they're just having a bit of a sparring match. She like... I would have said tete a tete. She like, takes like a half step back and like obviously like, you know, her hand does reach tentatively for a weapon but everything okay though and she gives you like another kind of like you know is that okay because you know that, that was a strange noise to hear from the room uh, weird cracks a strange smile <laughs> and says yes you know what aspis are like you're going to need a cleaner in there once she's done with him and i think she I need you to give me just a social role. You can pick no. what it is because you're not specifically <laughs> lying. You but you need to do a social role, and I'll let you pick the skill that is relevant. It isn't culture, by the way. And <laughs> <laughs> no. but it's that, social or it's just engineering. It's it's no, it's no. Um, unless that was your profession. And um, it should have been. 
But yeah, what what are we thinking? Because diplomacy, arguably, you know that perfect skill in this game. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I could do. I mean, let's face it; they're all the same to me. And it's because it's not a bluff. We know you're not actually lying. Like, it's more of a an irony you're really hitting her with, right? Yes. Just a post-dated irony. There you go, an eight on diplomacy. Does that include the minus one because of androidness? Uh, that's is... on her check against me. Right. Okay. That's what it is because you're really poker face syndrome. Right. Um, does that stay with all your changes as well? Uh, yes. Yeah, as long as you're an android. Yep, I still don't emote effectively. Uh, okay, yeah. I feel like she just gives you a very weird look, but let's just, I'll roll a d20 anyway and we'll see what she gets, because it's more exciting to actually see a dice. Well. Oh. <laughs> so that's an, that's, that roll, if we ignore Minus her modifiers, one. is at least an 18. Yeah, don't worry, I was getting there. Um, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And she takes a step forward and she goes, I should check on them. Um, like our hand goes for a pistol. I don't think that that's appropriate. She looks they, at you. Uh, she goes, What do you mean, appropriate? They, they require confidentiality for their business. She like narrows her eyes. She says, I need another rule. I need another rule. Yep. I need ideally the more persuasion y focused, I guess, and possibly this could arguably be a bluff as well. She's going to go extremely poorly. I have said nothing that is untrue. Um they need confidentiality is arguably not true. The singular they <laughs> I mean, let's not get into that. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. In this yes. instance. But there's two on a bluff. Okay. Wow. I think this is the worst I've ever seen you roll, by the way. Oh, yeah. Like, even in that other combat, your numbers were still high. They just didn't hit. Um, wow. Yep. So. She goes, stand aside, please. And she pulls her gun. How does the door work, Ryan? I, I don't know. A swishy sideways door, right? Is it. On like a computer system. Sure, why not? Probably, like right? Wirelessly hack. Yeah. <laughs> just You're gonna try and furiously while... wirelessly hack this so that she can't get in. Yeah. Just while I'm bullshitting her. Yeah. Just cool. in the background. I'm so just... I assume like as she's saying, you know, stand aside. You take a big step to the side while doing this. So yeah, hit me up with your uh, yes. your wireless hacking. <laughs> to computers, obviously. Twenty-eight. There we go. See, wow, look at that. that. Bad roll. That means I was just a three on the D twenty. Yeah, it's just disgusting when you think about this system and the That's numbers. That's ludicrous. Uh -huh. Yes. So, what level are you guys just now? Twelve, right? Yep. Right. Okay. Now you got them recalculate what difficulty levels Good are now. Um. Okay. Because I think that might maybe just cut cut it. Let me see. And it's probably worth actually looking at. Man, I can't get my. GM screen. Come on, GM screen. Not a shelf with too many books on screen, it. New screen, new screen, we all screen. GM screen! Yay! Hey, <laughs> Do you remember that early arc of Spawn? Does any of us? The one with the, the serial killer. The ice cream guy. What's his name? Kincaid something? Something Kincaid? Uh, I'm not actually not sure. Don't remember. Uh, if you're at home, if there is one... Google that for me. I'm lazy. Oof. <laughs> no, that, that, was, that wasn't what I was oofting at. Um, yeah, it's a fail, isn't it? Then you don't oof that success unless it's a big success. Oh, or unless he just succeeded, right? Um, uh, yeah. So I, I arguably, say... um, but no, it is a fail. <laughs> See, it's of, um. Not yeah, like so. The new difficulty levels are 20 plus your current level for a difficult thing to do, right? Which, you know, hacking a secure room on a police ship, <clears throat> I would say is difficult, because you've got easy, challenging, and difficult. It's 10 plus level, or it's like either level or level and a half. 
times average party level. So one or one and a half times average for the difficulties. And then you've got easy challenging and difficulty is 10, 15, 20. So yeah, this is this sh <coughs> the, the check on this would have been a 32 for the DC. Uh, yeah. So not a fail by much, arguably. Um, do you have anything that lets you add to rolls based on Android nonsense, or is that? I think that's probably it. Yeah, that's mm. okay. I think it's just maybe the. Arguably, it's that you could have got it if you had a bit more time. I think is the easiest way to interpret because it, it's not like it wasn't nearly a success. Because um, again, this is why I like systems with degrees of success. Um, unfortunately, this system doesn't necessarily care about that in a lot of places that aren't random spells. So, yeah, you go to like bring up that, and I think by the time you've like found the uh, like the computer kind of core that actually, an idiot. I don't... actually have an ability that just lets me overload the door, so I can't open for one round. Uh, sure. I mean, if it's one round though, it does buy you at least six seconds, I guess, to do something else. So yeah, I. Uh, should I hit up that? Why yeah. don't you just walk away? That <laughs> makes it. I mean, I know it's, it might sound strange, but like, you're so not. If, get, if if you're if you know what's happening, you're not going to just let her walk away to let her discover it, surely. Or no. grapple her into. Or throw her into the sea. Oh. Uh, what have we got? Overload, standard action, one round, an electronic. Uh, save is a DC thir uh, 22, uh, 23. I can't count apparently. That's only if it's something they're holding. Yeah. I... Um, Standard action that can cause us to short an electronic device, including most range weapons, blah blah blah. Arm upgrade makes the device non functional for one round. Overload doesn't uh, cause a lock. Is it? Overload doesn't cause a locked a door lock to safe to or other device to open, but it prevents them from opening for one round. Yeah. It was just the, the, the placing of the words threw me there. Uh, you must be adjacent to the device to use this ability. You are. I, if you have a drone instead, you can use that ability, and that's fine. If you have an exocortex, you can use it with your hack ability, that's fine. That's what you're doing. If you use overload on I don't have an exocortex now, actually. Okay. But but... That's, that would be if I was not adjacent to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you are adjacent to it, right? You're right next to it. Yes. Um, so I'm which fine. Is completely fine. Uh, the owner of it, there is technically no owner of it that isn't here. They're probably somewhere else. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, arguably, if I needed it to not work, I could have somebody on the bridge monitor this bullshit, but I don't think that's happening right now, given the situation that's on on display outside the ship. Even on a good day, that'd be weird to sit and stare at door monitors. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't affect Androids. That's probably useful, because that would be broken. <clears throat> Just to shut you no, down. It does. I've got other abilities later on that yeah. let me do it to Androids. It's also just dispelled days, oh, does okay. it? I, a residual static yep. charge prevents the device from being overloaded again for one minute. That makes sense. I, did I read the ninth level? Is that a new thing as well? Cause... Uh, those are just about doing more mess to robots and Androids. Uh, so, not relevant. Tenth is mechanical trick. Okay, yeah. I mean, that'll definitely buy you some time to have another go. Yeah. So, yep. yep, you do that, she walks forward, she hits the button. Um, I assume the visual on this is the thing shorts as she hits the button. Um, yep. So we get that, you know, super high budget special effect, uh, which is just a tiny bit of electricity sparking on the switch. And she just says, damn thing. Kind of like shoots you a glance and turns back to the, the door and hits the button again. Um, and you before she hits the button... <laughs> <laughs> I'm an engineer after all. Maybe that's why she should show look when you say that. Um, and she goes to hit the button again, and before she does, you roll another computer's check and we see if you can manage it. And here I was going to suggest just slamming her head into the door. I mean, there's that, right? You should just say to her, in the interest of buying time. 33. There you go. You made it. Um, so you've Thank locked the door. Big fucker. So she hits the button and it just like hits up with the red, you know, locked. Sign that's probably in some kind of whatever the, the symbols we use for space common is in this. Uh, uh, uh -huh. you didn't say the magic word. <laughs> Just that actor, uh, 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 from Jurassic Park. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so God. that's their IT guy for the stewards. That would be terrifying. Uh, although, weirdly, he could play Q Bob perfectly. Um, but anyway, 
Oh wow, poor guy. <laughs> no, but like, if I was gonna like cast Cubob and I wanted him to be like somebody that was like iconic, yeah, like he'd be a great Cubob. Um, to be honest. But yeah, the yeah, the door doesn't open. Durant just kind of like looks and goes, "Damn thing." She kind of looks at you. I'm. Um, and I shrug twice. At once. She shakes her head. She says, "Back to the admiral from uh, the like the ambassador room." I Very fit. well. And then she like leads you back there, um, and she brings up like her badge comb, uh, and she asks for like a tech team to look at the door, ASAP. As she's heading you back there. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, Zora. The mutant. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. You're um on your way to the final hour. Mm hmm So yeah. Anything happening on the way? <laughs> I might not. Uh unless he's, he's causing a riot, probably not. I mean whether or not he's, he's causing a riot is kind of irrelevant, right? To whether or not you know he's causing a riot. Uh, I mean, I, he's always caused the riot, right? It's just the mm. level of riot, is what I mean. <laughs> I mean, there's no, there's no distress in the cockpit, if that's what you're worried about. Okay, um, then. For the shuttle. It's probably just chilling. It's probably just chilling, then. Okay. No problem. I'm sure that CC fires and think about it, right? Mm -hmm. he, he's probably, he probably learned that in wars, not to think about drop pods failing. Whatever. Uh, right, uh, like, yeah. mm -hmm. like, <laughs> they won't fail because if they're drop pods, they need to go down anyway. So they'll uh, never yeah. fail. <laughs> so you probably just doesn't think about things like that. Uh, just chilling from there. Okay. Um, you got a plan? You could, I mean, you could radio ahead to the final hour as well if you wanted to. It's up to you if you want them to prep anything for you before you get there. I, think. I, need any, I guess I'll like call on. I'll call Alice and just say that we're incoming, I guess. I'll just send her a message saying we're incoming, I guess. Sure, whatever you want to do. Just definitely like, panic. Occasionally build a random oh, bazooka and blow you up as you walk in. Yeah, mm. I hear you. Um, we'll run out of cutlery eventually in this game, that's why. Um, sporks and spoons and <laughs> everything else. But yeah, so you're on your way there. You're still going to take a while to get there, unfortunately, because, you know, that's, that's how it happens. But, uh, okay, we fade off over to our wonderful duo with a... Uh, obviously, Ivan wobbles in the shuttle, I guess, as well, because he's with you mm. as well, so that's another thing. I'm also making sure that Ivan doesn't really eat the shuttle, but I'm fairly sure that Ivan has self-preservation and won't do that. Sure. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Ivan has to breathe, so I don't know about self-preservation, but yeah. I mean, but, I mean... <laughs> It's fed, right? We always right. I mean, he has eaten like an entire like, bedroom. So, hmm. But yeah, interesting. But yeah, so we fade over to Zig and Lyco. What's the plan? I think... I think Zig's probably... Maybe after a while of looking at Lyco trying to, like talk to him even though he's kind of you know off in his own little thoughts and trying to to process everything i think he's going to eventually just kind of wander over to the couch kind of sit and attempt to meditate but he's probably fiddling his thumbs quite furiously okay mm -hmm. makes sense waiting for stuff to happen um and that uh and then he would Look up, and Lyco will say. Uh, that's a good question. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm asking. No, no. I'm literally asking um, what's happening. We've moved to you oh, guys. Ow. Um, so I've just, I've just wandered off to the kind of sofa area and sat down and started kind of attempting to kind of meditate while kind of waiting for things to happen because I don't like the, don't like being here essentially. Yeah, that that's fair. Uh, forewarning, I'm having some audio. Issues? That's okay, then just make um, the most of it while it's good. It seems to be fine for the now, it's just that it completely went out in one year earlier. I was like, 
it was weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I think Like was probably kind of restless also. I think he very much was when we like, left him last session. Mm. Um, but I suppose what you would do in downtime like that before, you know, we're not exactly sure. Things are a bit up in the air at the moment, but obviously we were prepping to sort of leave. Um, so I think it's probably what he's doing. Uh, I think he's armored up at this point. Uh, bear with me. And uh, obviously, don't have access to guns and that. But I think you would be kind of just putting the room in order, maybe, and you know, sort of gathering up any bits and bobs. The only room that was trashed was the the bedroom. Most of that was just consumed by Ivan. Yeah, sure. So. There's probably some stuff that's like this. Place. There's probably a few coffee cups lying around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, he is a detective after all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, he's probably doing that, uh, and I think he was kind of muttering to himself, to recall. He's probably doing a bit of that still. Um, so I think with, uh, with nothing in particular to, to focus him at the moment, he's probably still continuing to do that. So if Zig's at the, uh, at the couch, was it? Were you mm. on the couch meditating? You are. Attempting yeah, to. Gonna... Badly. I think he's well, like, think... you know, his thumbs if... are going and he's got a bit of restless leg. If it's mostly used to kind of like killing time, really, we'll just have weird be escorted back to the room. Um, yeah. So mm -hmm. we can just have like time pass with it just kind of like a montage of views being in different parts of the suite, just literally killing yeah. time. Um, I think I definitely get the impression there's a lot of antsiness. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I think I think it's very skittish and and no just, overt alarms just, blaring anywhere or anything like that. Which either. isn't in mm -hmm. itself very strange. And um, yeah, eventually, like the the door swishes open and, and walks your faithful android. Aha! So, faithful. I mean, in himself, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming Durant is <laughs> he's on the other side of the door now. Uh, yeah. Like, well, I feel like. Wasn't. I think he would have been back at the door, right? Um, Sanchez would have been back at the door because he's already taken Zora down. Okay. Right, so he'd be back up. Durant would have escorted you there and she'd have run off to go like deal with his tech team. Yep. Yep. So she's away and you're inside and door's shut and Sanchez is on the outside. Um, so yeah, as soon as the door's shut, I say, I think we should leave. Great, let's go. No questions asked. <laughs> uh, In sure. brain speak. Everything good? Have we got Query great? Or Emma's head off. I think. Yeah, Sorry, no, you hear this too, by the way. Stops at that. Mentally, uh, what? <laughs> Mentally, I would respond uh, verbally. But she'll she'll be she'll be all right though. Uh, I assume. I mean, she survived. Worse? Yeah, but we didn't see any blood there that time. This time there's just blood everywhere. I, I, I should be you being verbally tore her head off, right? Like, literally well, grabbed her head and tore it off. Then he started speaking differently. So I think he's been conning us. Yeah, okay. What? Uh, he's, what? he's secretly competent. Uh... uh... Now, okay, yeah, maybe let's get off the ship. Hmm. How long before they notice? Uh, I managed to get the door locked, but it won't be long. Okay, I I agree with the plan. Let's go. We can. Hmm. We can't get him out, but. Maybe we don't have to worry about her him for the time being. He'll be fine by himself. Let's leave. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> I'll go up and press the button. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any specific button or the door? The door. Yep. The door button. And uh, uh, yep, Sanchez is outside as the standard. Yep. Sanchez. Yeah, Sanchez, uh, can you escort us to our ship? Your ship left. 
Your Vesk took it. He's not returned? Mm. No, it's not been that long. Okay, no, it's, it's like, no, he's... Is he planning on returning? Uh, I believe so. I just mm -hmm. hope so. Just yeah. mutters about someone saying, nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. What um, are the chances of borrowing a or being um piloted by in in the in the the essence of being uh, probably logical, right? Uh, so uh, and head speed. So is this mean I don't need to speed the Damagash? <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, um. So, do we need to go to the final level? That's one of the question. I don't think he does. Is this too mere? Is this too mere? I mean, it depends though. I thought you still wanted to, regardless of the career situation as of last yeah, time we played. I mean, it is kind of got a handy, right? I mean, it's, it's, I don't think about meta. It's just, do you want access to the resources that will bring you or not? For the price it uh, might cost, right? That's it. Um, uh, we'll give it a uh, your, your call, Captain. Uh, it's still probably, I still probably should, right? I mean, let's just learn stuff we don't know about. Bad chat, I'll keep speaking to you. I'll, I'll, I'll go with it. I'll speak to you. <laughs> so, I don't know, I would say, is there any way that we could be returned to? Her? Vessel, could we borrow? Okay, uh, I know that wouldn't be normal protocol. Like I can run out of the chain. I have to give me. See if we can. Well, uh, uh, let's 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 ask if they could be dropped off, right? They, if they can ferry us, that's probably a slightly less crazy request. Okay, looks like he goes. I'll run out of the chain. I'll let you know as soon as I know. Okay, Quinn. Thanks. And odds, like affirming that. Then he goes back to his post and you see him like tap his badge. And obviously, the, the standard sign of him going doing his thing. I always and, appreciate uh, the go inside, so I never need to have the random bit of dialogue you hear. Yeah. So that's great. <laughs> it's like, yeah, those assholes ask for more stuff again. Yup, put the request through. Um, but yeah, so. That'll take time. Uh, in the meantime, what's what's the trio's plan? Just leave. Um, yeah, uh, mainly yeah, yeah. announcing fuck. I think. <laughs> I think Zig's mentally just doing. Uh. Mm. <sighs> no. Keep in mind, Zara. Any, any of the mentally it comes your way as well. Remember, because I'm pretty sure the range is on this, like, you know, dimension. So. Yeah. We don't want to give them any hint we know, so we don't want to ask Zora to come back immediately mm -hmm. and collect us. I Turn think. this ship around! <laughs> yeah. The only thing you might hit into is the problem about the almost standoff state these were in moments ago with the alarms and everything. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that does seem problematic. Like how how long would it take to just float back? We can't all do that. So. <laughs> I can put you in my no space chamber. Yeah, <laughs> I need to breathe. Yeah, you can breathe in like there for like two days. A day. Yeah, two days or something. Yeah, it's big though. I mean, it was I think a day for someone like us. I think two days like that, yeah. for him. Um, I think it was like a small creature. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure that was it. Um, obviously, like if you find it, and changes. Of course, we'll go with whatever yeah, it is. But I'm sure it was one, one day for like a normal sized person, and two for a, like a, a small. Ah, uh, yeah. I could look up the rules, but that wouldn't be my style. Yeah. <laughs> Why start now? <laughs> Why start now? But yeah, like your spacesuit um, would obviously give you several days of air, but not necessarily the, the food or whatever either that you'd need to also live. Um, it's twelve days. 
I think it's a day per level. It is, yeah. For, it's for, for, for right, yeah. item level, sorry. Holy. Um, but it would take a long time to get back to the ship because space is big. Uh, mm -hmm. And falling to the planet isn't exactly recommended. A lack of propulsion might be a problem. It's more the problem. Well, no, for sake. Stu can fly. Or him. There we go, so we're sorry. I've got a jetpack. <laughs> At least I hope that this isn't a serious suggestion. Colin, I know, uh, I've noticed that they can all fly and breathe in space. I think. Special <laughs> 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 breathe. Um, it's. Um, no yeah. sort of like it's in a sci fi. <laughs> it's, um, if we do this, if we do leave through means of just dropping through the walls that's going to be extremely suspicious and we're going to be floating slowly through space assuming you can get through the wave we right? won't shop on their scanners ask him to leave <laughs> that's to be defended. well i mean zig is wrapped in tinfoil so he'll be fine for the scanners right so <laughs> ask him to leave is a little suspicious we can't scan in this man uh, mm-hmm what if we fake some sort of attack? I was honestly, I was waiting for the word bomb. Like that's all I was waiting <laughs> on there, Alex. I was yeah. like, what if we fake a bomb? Like, that's not your style. No, we need a real bomb to fake an attack. I think, like, like has a point, right? That if they ask to leave and you haven't necessarily, because you've got permission to leave by, you know, mm -hmm. bye He gave you permission, but obviously Zora took that and left. Um, it's not to say you still can't go, you're still technically cleared to leave, you just don't have a means of transport unless you just step out of the hangar, which is fair your means of transport could just be weird um, <laughs> but obviously Babak might think it's weird if you've left Query on board Yeah, Given... uh, which we're going to do either way, so mm, kind yeah, of avoid one I think we're going to have suspicion thrown on us because we're very suspicious. Uh, true. I Is think that a bunch of main be... characters on a ship where some weird stuff happened? Never. It may be possible <laughs> to sort of allay some of the suspicion by sticking around for the discovery, only we're all going to be interviewed about that, but it depends. Oh, I, I can bluff my way through it. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't need a 32. Yeah, I can not roll that. We, we it's not like it would. I don't know if it would be a thirty-two for that, but like it would be, it wouldn't be far off that. Do you know what I mean like, like a twenty-seven if it's or something? Above twenty, I can't make yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And it's, obviously, if you're being interrogated, it's going to be by like steward experts, right? So yeah, like or whoever's at least on board. So mm. it's going to be hard. I'm not saying that's the only way out, though, right? Like, there's, I mean, what else are your options, right? So you've got pile into Baker the dead. space. Okay, fake your deaths, right? Okay, so oh, let's. That's an idea. So we've and got. And then launches into space. Out of respect. What have we got? So we've got fake deaths. Why right, don't we just wait and see what he's done? Base walk. We've then just got just wait. Because we don't know what he's doing. Which in is there. the dietary version of just eat the app. Um, he may and, uh, or may have some <laughs> other capacities beyond the ability to actually do things Is that we weren't aware of. A vacuum cleaner. He might have a vacuum <laughs> cleaner. He might be a bomb. What if I go back in there and plant a bomb and blow up the well, entire what room? Doing that right now? He might <laughs> actually be incompetent and actually like just gets caught and then he gets deemed a psychopath by the stewards and then we're like, oh well, I mean, there's a bit of psycho, right? Just leave him. <laughs> we go to the higher ups and we say we are concerned about the stability of Query after having our counsel with him. They requested time alone, and I'm not sure he's mentally. Are you saying plead insanity? Well, how about <laughs> just think, let, yeah. let's just look, let's look make it so that we're pre-warning them of something that's already happened. <laughs> If but we might not know that. Right? Post warning them. If Weird <laughs> approaches them and says, "Look, I'm concerned about his ability to look out for his own best interests. He's agreed to talk one on one. Mo didn't want me present. He doesn't seem to be fully in his capacities. You know, that can 
<laughs> they know all this half. They know all this anyway, really. But do you know the probability of moving past in that bluff? Um, zero percent. Right? Mm. <laughs> okay, we can back you up. We'll just like you'll, you'll say something and then zero percent. Lyco can repeat it, and I'll go yeah. I mean, I could try the bluff, but then that puts Lyco in a difficult position. Mm. That I'm not sure how you. Would. Didn't your charisma primary leave the ship? Yeah. <laughs> what, if she, what if Emlyn comes back? <laughs> As you like drag Olka to the mic, <laughs> go play for us. Can you please come and? <laughs> we got ourselves into a situation. So, that we do you know why that's cold. a bad idea? Right? Where right. is Emlyn? What was her last job in this? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nope, we've killed your boss and we need to get out of the situation. Yeah. You mean. know, turns up with a, you know, black crystal legs herself and goes, Ah, I got a promotion, did I? I think get that man. It's not a ton that did I want either. <laughs> oh dear. Can I have a moon? <laughs> moon, please. But anyway, so uh, out of the plans Wait. we have suggested, what is the one that gets used to where you need to be? Where you where you want to end up, right? I don't mean that not in this situation, but like ultimately, it's back on Akaton, right? For the time being, yeah. Or is it me, Joe? Or is it the Azure Flare? Or is it the Final Lower? Or arguably Akaton, the Kivalari? Akaton makes more sense because we can always contact the Azure Flare, right? Yeah, contact either ship from Akaton. They're both in orbit, so... I mean, we don't have to really contact the thing because we have brain comms. Yeah, this bombs. is true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd have been bad if it as well, well right? Is that a thing? Is what? Something that uh... Can I go back to the Azure for? Uh, it wasn't officially stated, but it was stated yeah. that the other female prisoner went back, yes. Um, and then I never actually was stated Tanida. I was just saying that vaguely so that when Isabel was actually in the meeting with Yusin Babak, it wasn't obvious who was going to be there. Oh, really, really Isabel was with us when they said, oh, right, cool, I was just wondering. Isabel, you don't cool. know where Isabel is just now. She just wandered off, remember, um, and said she had to contact the church. Okay. We, it might be worth trying to find Isabel, but personally, I don't <laughs> think so. What if we ask her to go and assess query? <laughs> you stop trying to get Isabel killed again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I question. She was injured what, by what query. Yeah. I don't imagine she's the best candidate for that, unless it's exactly what Weird wants, right? <laughs> what? Right. Hmm. Shall we put it to a vote? Because I don't... I don't think we... No... Yeah, I feel no. like we're, we are floundering a bit. So yeah, what is... Like, what do you think the actual best situation is? Because you don't have a ship, but Zora could pick his up in the shuttle. It would just take a while if he's floated yeah. in space for a while. That right? seems terrible. I vote for not that. Oh. Should we take a shuttle? I mean, you could also just steal like, you, one. You could, yeah, you could steal a shuttle. You could steal a like escape pod. You could steal. But that feels like my Larry, speed, right? Yeah. I said the Kivalari works. The you know it does. Pods bar one, and we'll jump on one. Well, just, just take the Kivalari. I said, just rig the Kivalari's engine to do the Absalom jump again. I know how this works. Right, just, just FTL out of the hangar bay. That's not gonna be a terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll pull the next move. <laughs> Was he weird by then? Oh. Uh, no, I think you were next. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. you crashed on versus because of that maneuver. Yes. Yep. And it wasn't I mean, cast off. It's already broken. So. Wait. Hmm. It's oh. needing repair. Wait. It's not broken. It did work a bit. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Wait, yep. Wait, the next maneuver, the teleporting into the absol. I mean, I, I think that's too you know much. Aye. F uh, you know what I mean. There's, yeah, there's yeah. The, next, the next entry and the next exit. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. it was definitely an exit at that point, wasn't it? Because it was like, mm -hmm. thank yeah. Next didn't yeah, happen yeah, until yeah, Castraval, yeah. which was after Versus, yeah, yeah. which was after Absalom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's... Um, I remember. <laughs> they won't be expecting that manoeuvre because it's suicidal. 
Uh, it's it's also just because it's incredibly dangerous and highly illegal to do that, like, you know, because of the absolute sure fucking damage we're going to do. But it'll be fine, right? Yeah. Hmm. But we, we won't see the damage, so we can assume <laughs> it's minimal. Um, mm. We are, I think, in a state of what Ryan mm. may uh, describe as analysis paralysis. Yeah. So, uh, and what other people might describe as fuckery. Well, let's I'm stealing the Kivalari. Right. I don't so that's, know what you're doing. Type that in as your type that in as your thing, right, on Discord, right? Steal the Kivalari. That's that's weird's plan, right? And arguably FTL wreck the camp before the storm, which is now more aptly named than ever. And um, Zora, what do you think the gang should do? What's the plan? What should they do? Oh, Just uh, hit me up with something they should do. I mean. You know why it's going to be suspicious, right? It's Doesn't matter. Fucking yeah. speak to, just go speak to, ask to speak to Papa or something. Okay, type it in. Yeah. Zig. Um. Okay. Right. Go to the Kivalari, irradiate the hangar, and then jump. <laughs> okay. It won't follow. No, I am. I have a uh, question. Why I, irradiate no, so. the hangar? Yeah, so nobody follows us. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but no, I, I, I stick by what I said earlier and attempting to to inform them that query is unstable and that um. So po- we're not do I type in something reality. like I don't post emptively through query under the bus? Yes. Okay. I don't know if it's throwing them under the bus. Because I mean, he did do it. It's, it's, it's a it's phrase like, that I can word what he means subtly on, right? And then leaving Michael? under the bus. Yeah. Put it to yeah. us all, right? And second, so Michael, what's what is your plan? What do you uh, think? The my most... idea is at least wait to see what happens because we're not going to be able to leave with any immediacy. If Captain can't collect us, we're not fucking drifting through space. Uh, and we'd be reliant, therefore, on them providing us transport. And they're probably not going to do that in the immediate aftermath of a very strange discovery involving the guy that we were supposed to be looking after. But they're even less likely to look kindly upon us just falling through the floor or stealing the Kivalari. So my suggestion is we hang on a bit. Okay. You want to type that in then? I think it's just called wait, right? Hang on a bit. Uh, right, guys. That boat as well. So Sleep. vote. There we go. One vote each. <laughs> votes. I think it's like hang uh, on a bit. Sorry. With uh, I can't find the funny thing to vote with, so I'm gonna. Okay. So literally, just wait. To be fair, I think I'm the only one who gave an actual answer rather than a <laughs> deliberately awful idea. Well, mine's a great idea. Hold on, I'm, I'm but... voting for yours and voting for mine. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I, don't, I, as well. I don't actually think yours is that awful, to be fair. Mine's but... great. It just no, so I mean, happens I, I, that I, can't I just don't know who would be able to handle it properly. Let's see, see. Let's see, let's see. Boof, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I fundamentally believe I've got it covered. Yep, that's yeah. a nice natural five. Uh, yeah. I dare you, that is a natural. So five. I guess you yeah, guys I just sit in the in the room then. Um, Sanchez, I guess, eventually comes back in, and gives you an answer that doesn't really matter if you're gonna wait, right? Ultimately. So. That's okay, that'll play out. We just fast forward to the shuttle docking with the final hour. <sighs> Good. Stretch my arms. Uh, Ivan, welcome to the ship. Uh, please don't eat it. Uh, you're unsure if it, d- it darts your look or not. Uh, hey, please. It just wobbles. <laughs> <laughs> A thumbs up. Uh, hey. CC runs past, and a you know behind him to 
two of his hands over his kind of shoulder as he's running forward. You say, "Come see this quick," and he runs out. And then a uh, Ivan moves behind him. It's gonna fucking feed them off my ship. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, like CC, Ivan, and eventually Zora depart the shuttle. Yep. Oh wait, what's what's the remains of my what ship is my ship on? <laughs> that one. <laughs> or what's left of it's it? It's in the other half of the shuttle bay. Um, ah, and uh, no. Finipurus says, "Welcome back, Admiral." Uh, uh Ben. Uh, what, do you know where uh, our house is? On the bridge. Good. Do you wish me Good. to open a comm to her? Uh, no, that's quite all right. Um, I'm going to speak to her myself. Um, oh, so do if there's any way to get in touch with Demogush. Uh, and it, it just looks like he hesitates, like he was not expecting that question. He like <laughs> flickers. <laughs> and he's like, yes, there are protocols. Good. Um, I might be... Uh... I seem to be having trouble accessing the subroutines, but I'm sure, given time, I can operate them again. Uh, good, good. That's probably what I was done last of the day. Uh, I would make the same assumption if I were programmed to assume. Uh, and he seems to cool. smirk. Uh, we'll, we'll get it sorted, eventually. Um, of course we will, Admiral. Give him a vessel. And then it obviously goes through him because he's a hologram. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I appreciate the sentiment, uh, Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else? Uh, no, no, that's this query. Excellent. He blinks away. Fucking <laughs> Finn. I like Finn. You leave him alone. <laughs> Just this really polite lizard, probably yeah. voiced by Paul Bettany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go see Alice in the bridge. Yeah, so... Oh, off my, sheep and, does, my, sheep, my sheep doesn't get eaten. And yeah, obviously yeah, CC sure. and Ivan are just yeah. over at the remains of um, the piles of stuff that have been pulled off Zig's elf fighter. Remember CC, I suppose mm. they rebuild it better. It will be better. It just uh, won't fly anymore. I trust them. I trust them 100%. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Is he uh, like, he turns around back to like pulling all the stuff off the side of the ship and handing it to Ivan. And to him, it just gives you one thumbs up as that lingers behind him. Um, I'm just probably Iron Woman. Um, and they scream, of course. I'm going to the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we just uh, scream out to you. Like, <laughs> I already okay. apologise for this. Um, no, it's you, fine. Is, um, I'm sure. I'm sure. Is this an like, endoverbal conversation, sure... or is this just your own thoughts meta? <laughs> no, this is just a. This is just a, a, a meta. A meta. Sorry. Oh, shut <laughs> up! You're on the bridge now. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's a shit. Why does Finn call you an Ed, Uh Oh, I sorted the ranks. It. Right. Uh. Kind of like a captain of more than one ship's an admiral or something like that, apparently. Uh, oh. I don't know about these back world designations. Just shrugs. Uh, uh, so, uh, how does a uh, first officer sound for you? Uh, <laughs> oh, that is, right. is it good? Uh, Basically, it's your ship, but I, and I'm not on the ship. That's... She stops and she kind of looks around at the at the bridge, almost sentimentally. Looks back here and she goes... I mean, it was my ship for a week, you know, when I was abandoned, so I suppose exactly. it's only right that I get exactly. to be the the first of the officers. Yeah. And I feel like uh, nobody knows how to protect the ship better than you, right? Right. So, uh, first officer, thumbs up. That sounds good. I like that. First of the officers. <laughs> Thank you, Admiral. 
I would give it a two fingered mocking salute. You know, should have the finger guns from the hip because you know it's the same two fingers. Let's face it. (laughs) (laughs) Do I get a badge or a hat? Uh, uh, You can make yourself a badge or a hat if you like. A hat with a badge. Uh, You do you. Aye. She just nods to herself, looking pleased. <laughs> uh, I'm happy you're happy. Um, uh, so, where's everybody else? Um, apparently, try yeah. to break out. Um, crazy query. Um, okay. Are they on the other ships we have now? Um, no, they're on the, um, the the back ship. Right. He's the one that was on here before, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. He was. I was trying to think. Was he? Yeah. He <laughs> <it> was. <laughs> was. Okay. Poor armed guy. Not weird. So we like him. Um. Hopefully. Okay. And are we on? The good side or the bad side of that? Oh, um, that's a grey area. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who knows if we're ever on the good or the bad side of anything? But what do they have to do with it, though? Besides the Kivalari thing. <sighs> Just looks at you. Hopefully on the good side, right? She looks at you confusing, raises an eyebrow, goes, the greys? Ah, greys, who knows about them? Right. (laughs) So, if it's a greys area, it's because nobody knows. Right. Nods. Nods as well. just stares at you awkwardly. Makes sense to him. I mean, it makes sense to her now as well, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like an education, isn't it, these scenes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> um, Mound and Ash to stop the, the ghosts on the, the, the ship. Uh, no. Do you maybe like, undo some of that so I can maybe get in touch with uh, you said we didn't have ghosts. Uh, gremlins. <laughs> I feel like shrugs and goes like CC. Uh, we don't want that. Um, mm. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> um, Just never mind. Uh, I need to get in touch with Damagash. Um, right. Big, big, Who's he? Uh, big Bad Vesk. Right. Bad so like Vesk. An, like an angry you? Uh, yes. Okay. A lot more murderous. Okay. How murderous are you? Uh, can be. Okay. How do we contact him? Um, Ben says there's some protocols that he could go through to get to it, but maybe you help him could make it easier for him. Am I his boss now? Uh, yes. Okay. Finn. And then no. Finn appears. He says, Admiral. First officer. And she goes, first of the officers. He rolls his eyes. Everybody hears that scream. Digitally. And he says to you, says, Admiral, unfortunately, I've been unable to remove the safeguards 
that have been put in place to prevent um, access generally throughout the ship systems. He just kind of half turns and looks at uh, Alice. Perhaps it's best that this task fall to the first officer. Uh, sounds like a plan. Yeah, excellent that, idea. Alice? And he blinks away. Alice <laughs> 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 goes, I don't know if this first of the officers thing is going to work out, because I just feel like I was just given a job by him again. <laughs> just shakes her head with her hands on her hips. <laughs> ah, Vesky eyes, they're approachable. I'm resisting making a I think your eyes are lovely joke that she would say, but I'm just not going to do it. Yep. <laughs> um, at least, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, oh, and she turns back around and goes to the console. And then as she's like tapping away and bringing up like, you know, um, coding screens, she kind of like says over her shoulder, did I get another seat then? Or is this the first of the officer seats? I mean, you made the seat, right? It's kind of your seat. I suppose that's true. I just feel like promotion should come with things, you know? I mean, I mean, best time to just stand, so if you buy a seat, you can have a seat. All the pictures of Kilbridge's had seats, so I just made a seat. So I was just thinking to himself, are they? <laughs> well, I mean, Vesk don't, right? Like the, like, the Vesk don't like seat, like, because that implies that you're going to sit around. Um, yeah. But, I mean, she's obviously just read up on fucking spaceship magazines while waiting for that week, right? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. She, uh, Okay, so I think I've removed all the safeguards. We should be good. Good. Um, question is, that I call now? Uh, hmm. Yeah, screw it. Uh, put, put me, put, get me there. I can't speak. Can't speak. That's what was tipping, but then try again. Fun. Blinks in. Admiral. Safeguards should be removed. Should be able to get touch with them, I guess. Now. Indeed, they are. Would you like me to attempt communication now? Uh, yes. Blinks out. I mean, I hate everyone about this. Just, <laughs> I guess like the equivalent of like a holographic ellipsis. Do this. Yeah, and he's. Oh, <laughs> I hate this. Oh, <laughs> Cox gun uh, points at head. Uh, I just hate it. Bang. Aye, done. <laughs> yep. It, uh, it's just going to be too useful, right? I feel like you'll get a lot more out of this than what you will get out of it, because, I mean, I plan to swiftly betray him at some point. So. Uh, yeah, so you've got the equivalent of, like, the ellipsis, like, loading in, dot, 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 blinks out, dot, 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 blinks out, the hologram of that, um, and then obviously some kind of uh, non copyrighted Skype uh, tone plays while we wait. And then um, uh, a Vesk officer. Um, blinks in and says the abyss how unusual how against protocol um yes uh, well they do the salute right and it's just obviously almost like reflex punch the screen <laughs> well they're a hologram right so they're, they're they're just standing like in the bridge in front of you as a hologram so that's all it's the best mm -hmm. storage and ships off is just replacement screens mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> solid <disc> just <laughs> smash another one you know. <laughs> but yeah so they do the salute even though it's just formality at that point I will give them the salute back mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be looking mm -hmm. uh, normal here uh, so um, contacting you to speak to Demagash about his proposition. I see. The Great Epoch Annihilator is unavailable oh, right that. now. You say there is a proposition? Um, don't give much away. Uh, no, I'm not planning on it. Um, 
that's for me and the gravy part I later to know about and not for you to know about. Indeed, but it would expedite the request if I was aware that they were awaiting such a communication. I am not privy, apparently, to this information, despite being the PA of them. And he kind of just, like suspiciously gives you a vesk look. Um, they're obviously a snarky PA, let's face it. And um, they go, uh, do you have any kind of authorization code for this request? Uh, good, I think. No, I gave you nothing. Uh, no, just what between men, uh, not men, wizards. Best. <laughs> 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 yep. Uh, it goes. I will pass this along, and I will be in touch momentarily. Leave your comm system open. It blinks out. <laughs> Fucking Vesk. Alice just looks at you with like <laughs> her feet up over the the back of the the console. I. Uh, she just like you know seems to be finishing off a yogurt pot. And she goes, hmm, are all Vesk that handsome? Uh, uh, huh? Licks her spoon clean and puts it in the, the pot and goes, hmm, yogurt is disgusting. <laughs> well, I quite like it. Okay. She kind of stands up and walks over, like, stands with, like her hands clasped behind her back and, you know, Good posture. Because you all stand the same as well. You know that? Yeah. Well, wow. Well, very regimented people. I you know it's... Mm. I don't want to be a Vesk, though. Uh, don't worry about that. I don't really want to be a Vesk at this point. Uh. <laughs> and you can, like, no, just, what would you be if you weren't a Vesk? Uh, me. Know it's... Vesk is like a broad term, you know, like... Hmm. You kind of nod sagely at that. And kind of looks back to where the hologram was standing. It's, you know... Most Vesk tend to be the same. I see. I see. Mm hmm Do you want anything from the mess hall? And just walks towards the door to leave the bridge. Ah, uh... Nice to cut my own wrists. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, okay. Just <laughs> leaves the bridge. And then, uh, yeah, we uh, cut back over to our other group. All the way back. And, um. It's his fault. What? Yeah. <laughs> cut back and, uh,. There is a, a calm at the door. Obviously the ding bong Ooh. of the door goes on. Yeah. Loop, loop. <laughs> yeah, I think every, so the three of you so sit on the I, couch I'll, and you I'll all just stare at each other as you like tap your fingers nervously. Probably feels more natural for me to get it. So <laughs> Definitely. We'll hide under I agree table. with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Did you say you hide under the coffee table? Is that what you said? Or the kitchen? Yes. The kitchen? Hide in the coffee. <laughs> I would hide, hide under the table. Behind weird. <laughs> Uh, let us, hmm. where, where is best apartment artwork? Where is it? Um, where did I put that? Is it on the sketch page? Okay, that's the credit page. I think. And is it sketch page? Nope, that's where Oliver Plot is. There. Oliver Plot is a very unique NPC. Um, Oh, I see you did. I see, I see you there you did. There we go. It's this one. The one that's called hey. Untitled. Um, so. Yeah, the No Expenses Spirit Ambassadorial Suite. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, w I, w I will respond uh, to the calm uh, with a, a friendly. Uh, yeah, Quint here. Uh, so it's the button, uh, is if to open the door, right? Oh, to um, open? Yeah. Okay. I'll you can just enter your comm out if you wanted. Uh, no, I'll just open it. I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll permit them entry. I'm sure they could get entry. Anyway. Yeah. 
Uh, the door opens, uh, and you're staring at Emma O and Babak. Of course. I um, hate this game. <laughs> right, okay. So... Uh, I think I need to do a bluff roll, don't I? <laughs> so, uh, she starts, she kind of just puts a hand up as Babak goes to say something, and she kind of puts a hand up as... Like Quint, isn't it? Correct. Would you please stand aside so I may enter the room? Yeah. I I move aside and, she and likes, look to yeah. Babak, concerned. He gives you a look that just implies that he's um kind of shocked that she took the lead on that, right? Um, and she obviously clacks in with her pointed legs. Um, or glass spikes, and uh, she walks in, and then in walks Babak, and he says, Quint, there is nothing to be concerned about, but these men will be searching this room. And then in walk a bunch of uh, fairly armed stewards. Uh, sure. Would it be overstepping my bands to ask what you're looking for? And then... Smiling pleasantly, as only Michelle Yeoh can do, um, she says, I would not worry about that. Uh, can I call you Lyco? Um, Just smiles ooh, at you. That's a good question. How do you respond to that? Mm -hmm. Say no. Say no. <laughs> um, or say double yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, have I, I've not met her, mm. aside from when she was broken in bits mm -hmm. under a uh, <laughs> <Under a diner. laughs> that that seems familiar, although I don't have any particular objections. Wonderful. So, Lyco, the reason these men are searching their room is because it would appear that the suspect has escaped, given your familiarity, to use your phrasing, with the suspect. <laughs> We are um, searching all of the ship. Because she looks around the room and then says all of the ship to very clearly highlight she's starting here. Suspect is an interesting... Oh god, I... Right, can hmm. I... Okay, so if I were to say, because he was going to say something like suspect is a weird term to, to say because he's admitted to having shot at the... Sorry, something to that effect, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. he's not really a suspect, he's a, an admitted perpetrator, but obviously mm -hmm. I do know what she's talking about, so that would be a bluff roll, I assume. Uh, sure. If you want to do right. that, like, or you could just not um, respond. Yeah, <laughs> they do have the option to simply not risk it, don't I? Yeah. So, uh, what would Lyco do? You could always like just change do? the subject as well and propose something uh, uh, slightly different as a topic to try and avoid too, if need be. The... No, because they... Mm. They know that I know that he was <laughs> with her. <laughs> um, uh, I, I know what you mean, Cal. So I also hate this game. No. <laughs> um, I, I will then say... Uh, when you say suspect, you would be referring to... And she, like, turns and looks back. Um, almost as if, like, taking pleasure in the fact that there are, like, steward agents, like, tearing up the, the room. Uh, but tearing up, I mean, they're looking in obvious places somebody could hide, right? Um, it's not many places that I've just been by I would have. Only the bedroom stuff, though, remember. He left the rest of it, because, you know. I've heard quite a few things in the bedroom as well, sure. <laughs> Random <laughs> stationery and that. You know, it's like, nobody needs six pens, okay? <laughs> Ivan can have five. I'm intrigued by the fact that the bedroom's now empty. Um, yeah. Right, but that's that's the bedroom team to report back on. That's their problem, right? Um, it's just like in. taking the towel to a hotel, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> or a basil. And also, Lyco does have a bit of a rock star look about him generally, right? So I mean, it, it's not um, untoward yeah, that he'd have well, trashed but... the uh, the hotel room, as it were, the ambassadorial suite. Uh, and she kind of like pivots on the spot and turns back to anyway, Emma O, and uh, she goes, uh, "My name is Emma O Narakas, and I am." Granted diplomatic status of the Pact World sit Sitting Government uh, on New Absalom Station. And I think you'll find that 
my interests with the suspect are significantly out of your former jurisdiction. She blinks a couple of times. Uh huh. Yeah. So when you say suspect, would you be referring to query? <laughs> and she just smiles. She says, I would advise that you let this go as painly as possible. I, I would turn to Babak. I honestly, swear to God, did not think he would be able to escape. Babak says, um, Quint, a moment of your time. Of course. He nods to Narakis, and then he leaves. So we've got Weird and uh, Zig in a room with M.O. as the place is being uh, torn up, as it were, again. And um, what, what are you two up to? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think she's just like staring at you, smiling. I am um, again just that passively pleasant but clearly forced and faked look. Um, and then you know she kind of like narrows her eyes, kind of almost gently, um, when she looks at Zig, uh, and smiles. And there's definitely something unnerving about that look, Zig. Mm. I think Zig. Posture improves dramatically. <laughs> mm. Um as he I guess he kind of nods like kind of respectively. I, I feel like that he's kind of just accepted that there's literally nothing that he can do about the situation. You wear your amulet wanted. quite openly, don't you as well? Oh yeah. Um and like you said you nod like respectively, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. And um And then he just like like looks forward, closes his eyes, and goes back to sort of like quote unquote meditating. Mm -hmm. It's maybe a bit hard because obviously people have moved, like repositioned, just so they can like check behind the yeah. cushions. Yeah, it's more it's nonsense. more of like an outward mm -hmm. like appearance of meditation as opposed to actually meditating. It's yeah. the I don't want to deal with this right now, so just do what you do and leave me alone. And her voice cuts through the air and goes, "You're of the solar order, aren't you?" Um, I think he keeps his eyes closed and he says, that is correct. Oh, very interesting to find you here. You must have such an interesting story for the path you've walked. I think his eyes open. Um, and he says, Life has a way of making itself interesting. And she kind of just smiles a horribly shit-eating grin, and uh, she says, Would that that were true. I find it's the people that make it interesting. Through action. She kind of like looks around, as if trying to make a statement with that, and uh, says, This order, who did you train under? Um, I think he stands up and he like goes over to the kind of coffee station sure. bit and like goes to like make himself a coffee of some description. Like it looks as if he's offering as well, like obviously. Um, and um, and kind of waits for a response of that before carrying. She kind of just smiles and like she just like gently closes her eyes and just like shakes her head gently side to side. That's fine. Um, and then he just says, um, um, uh, under the current Radiant Supreme. I see. Who is the current Radiant Supreme? Now, in this universe, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> That's not something I've gone to check up on. Hmm. Um... Uh, can I is can I do like a I don't know try and like read her to see if she knows who the Radiant Supreme is like from you her could... face or if she's just trying to um... poke at me? Sure, I'll give that a roll. Yeah, let's see Does if she it's... suspect you're from a different universe. It's doable. 
So give me a sense motive, and we'll see if you can sense or she can sense that somebody knows something. E. <laughs> I, I, I think. Oh, no. um, I think that. I mean, if you think Zig has that thought, you could easily believe it. But I don't think it's because of what's on her face. It's just a mm. thought you've got, right? Um, I think Zig's thought is. It's Excuse like me. maybe one of the things that he's just not checked up on mm -hmm. in, in the year. Maybe um, it flashes back to you that there was that whole year of you were going to the sun for a reason and it wasn't just the egg, right? So maybe that mm -hmm. hits you now. Yeah. Um, and he, he kind of stops for a second and... I think he goes... Um, Oh, have you, have you not met him? He just smiles and just says, I am very familiar with one of your orders, Radiant Supremes, in fact. I, I knew him before he was appointed to office. Oh. Charming fellow. Okay, like, Did just... you say former or... Um... Sorry, I, I kind of my brain skipped over that. But did she say former Radiant Supreme or did she say? I think she says one of a right? Radiant Supreme. Yeah, I yeah. didn't hear former. Yeah. She said one of. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And she kind of like she's mostly taking in the you know the room, if, mm -hmm. it's almost as if making sure that when they look in somewhere, she's also looking. You know, um, she goes. Um, I think. I think. Um, what he what he says is um, he like you know maybe finishes like making his coffee and kind of goes back to the couch. Um, and sits back down, kind of looks over and says, "Of course, I suppose all our, our everyone's uh, mentor at the monastery is the Radiant Supreme. Uh, my my kind of personal mentor uh, was taken from this life before their time." How unfortunate for you. She's saying that without looking at you, like she's still taking in like what the men are doing in the room. Mm -hmm. and, uh, or the officers, she I guess I should say. take generally. a sip of the coffee, um, knowing that he does not like coffee. Mm -hmm. It's more of just like an action to do. <laughs> yeah. and uh, To kind of, I guess maybe kind of process, like quickly go through his thoughts and stall for, for time. Um, and then yeah, he said it's, had its challenges, yes. She kind of like turns to address that and she kind of looks at you and doesn't say anything and then kind of like nods and says, life would be dull without challenges. And can't appreciate the good if there is no bad. She smiles and she goes, I just happen to find that solar monks like yourself are anything but dull. She smiles. I think Zig smiles at that, even just to himself. Like he, mm -hmm. he's, he definitely smiles at that, and he says, "Well, I'm glad that uh, you think as much." And like her smile like vanishes right immediately, and she looks around the room like she's remembered where she is and what she's up to. Uh, she looks around and. He's obviously not here. Leave. Go search other places. And the officers grumblingly do so. I am. I can assume that both of you will inform the officers if you do happen to be contacted or have any information regarding the prisoners' whereabouts. She looks between the two of you. And she waits. <laughs> if I, um, if there's silence, I think Zig would just kind of fill the noise and go. If there's anything we can do to assist, sure, we'll do all we can. It's that. And bluff. then, like in in mind speak, going shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I mean, that met with a bluff check there, buddy. No, <laughs> I bet no. How's about no? Um, Kabloof. 
Okay, and uh, weird. Any response from you two? Yes. Weird looks at her and says, "Are you a transdimensional entity too?" She looks at you and she goes, "You did not answer my question. Are you a collaborator?" She just looks I, at you I'm... with like. Like almost like piercing eyes, right? It's like she clearly she's trying to like assess you, almost like hyper body language mode. My question was more pertinent. To you perhaps. <laughs> Your um desires are currently not relevant, I believe. And she like just seems to be like more like eyeing you up now. Curious, of course. Curious. Mm-hmm. It's a shame our former meeting was so brief. Which one? She smiles. <laughs> and she says, I think we will meet again. And I don't think either which of us MO will be eating? happy about this. Uh, and when you say, like, which am I meeting? It goes, the one that matters. And then uh, she turns to Zig as she's like turned to leave and turns her head back to Zig and says I'm sure I'll be seeing you again too and just leaves the room but before that happens we rewind ever so slightly and we go outside the door and uh, we have a Babak and Quint outside the door and a Babak just looks at Sanchez and Sanchez just starts whistling and takes a walk down the corridor <coughs> Um, and uh, Babak turns to you, Quint, and he hits a button on the door that just, like, you know, clearly means it needs to be double tapped to open from the other yeah. side. And he says, I don't like this. You don't like this. What the hell happened? Why are you still that on board? That is a good question. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Why are you still on board is what he says, and he does, like, talk over you to say that. Uh, the captain is presently elsewhere. We're uh, without a ship. Yeah, like, just checks his head. He goes, do you have communications with your captain? Yeah, we can get him back, but it'll take yeah. some time. It just, like, shakes his head, taps, like, um, like as a kind of, like, wrist-mounted uh, computer, um, brings up a schematic, and then just, like, throws it at you, um, and then maybe you remember that you're still carrying your deputy badge? Um, okay. And it, like activates on your 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 belt or your pocket in the armor or whatever, and he yeah. says, "There is the override code to an escape pod that will get you to Agaton's surface. Go now, and just stop being a political catastrophe on my ship for once." <laughs> and he puts a hand on your shoulder, um, we'll and he says, "Escape pods." And he says. I need you to find him. Just nods. Yeah. And I need her not to. I'm just nodding sort mm -hmm. of quietly to myself mm -hmm. as he does that. Yeah. And like you yeah. can you can tell from the way he's saying this that he's not even necessarily sure why he needs to be doing this, right? He just realized that there's clearly something else that he's not quite clicked onto yet that he's trying to. Yeah, she she makes very little effort to hide the fact that she's an obvious villain. Yeah, she is the most villainy villain, right? With her villain legs. Um, but yes, so does that, and he kind of like you know straightens up more professionally, and he says it will not be a comfortable ride, but it will get you away from here, which will be significantly more comfortable for both of us. Anyway. Yep. And okay. he, he just says anyway and acknowledges, and then just turns and walks away, and he goes, Sanchez, back to your post. And Sanchez just like salutes and heads back. Uh, and I, I will say something to Sanchez because I feel bad for the guy. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, oh God, uh, yeah, uh, it's like, yeah, um, we'll be at your hair soon. This has not been a, this hasn't been a great day for me either. <laughs> he goes, well, just another day in the stewards. And sort of quietly nodding to that too. Mm -hmm. I think we'll just kind of wait outside the door for her it to It does leave. not take long, let's face it. It's only like yeah. moments and then the door opens and then a, if you're nearish the door, she walks out and smiles and she goes, ah, Lyco. 
Wonderful. Do you like to walk and talk? No, but I suppose I'm... Um, That's fine. She walks off. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she just oh, goes down exactly the corridor. <laughs> Yeesh. I think Sanchez just has a blank look in his face, like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> like, he doesn't, it's like, whew. And then just does yeah. the, the eye roll himself, and obviously they scream. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I can't tell so if that's a crisis head head or a <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Sorry, um, Lyco. Yeah, I right. just sort of uh, shake my head and head inside. Yup. So, Lyco walks in. Opposite. The other stewards, like, you know, leave as well. Uh, I walk over and give Lyco the coffee. <laughs> oh, thanks. I, I take a big sip. She wanted to talk to me, but she wasn't that eager because as soon as I said I'd rather not or something like that, she just... Yeah. Anyway, did she... What's she up to? <laughs> uh... I think that weird comes out from under the table. What's um weird's response to Lyco? He was uncharacteristically quiet for his usual sassiness. That went better than expected. Uh agreed. Uh so I take an, an another big really a chug more than a sip of mm. coffee. And then just dropping quite carelessly the cop into the sink. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Shall we leave? Points at the door. Have we got uh, a ship? Uh, we, we've got... We got something, okay? Something okay, well, nothing. not ask, it's fine. Let's go. I sort of rub my hands together, <laughs> host and glee. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad to be getting out of here. Okay. And I will hit the button to open the door again. Yep. Be-doop. And uh, I assume you wish to start navigating towards the escape pod location I you've been given. Uh huh. Yeah. I do that. Um, I will uh, I'll climb up Weird's back and let him try. Was it smart to say no to her? I don't know. Uh, do I yeah. want to have a conversation with her? No. So, at the very least, it was honest. He, he would have gone with her if she just hadn't accepted the no immediately, just because it would have been interesting to hear what she had to say, but mm-hmm. I really didn't want to talk to her. That's understandable. Like, I don't even want to talk to her. Like, <laughs> she's my character. So, yeah, um... Let's, let's, let's get mm-hmm. in that thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, no, I need some kind of surreptitious role where you as a group try and make it there without drawing too much attention, right? So yeah. you say surreptitious? <laughs> Perhaps stealth? Ah, that's a good one. Yeah, I can use all roll stealth. How it's... about piloting? In <laughs> <laughs> if you can describe... No, my How? stealth's all right. It's okay. all good. <laughs> 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 okay, let's see how, how weird holds up then. It's totally inside these books, right? It's like, here, carry <laughs> me, <laughs> jumps in box. <laughs> 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 to be uh, fair, you can legit do that with the new Genie Warlock from 5e, which I think is amazing. You can say, okay, you sneak me in, what? Hands them the ring that you're... Is your genie bottle and you just live in it for a you know a couple of hours? It's kind of great. As long as we don't have to rub them the right way, it's all good. Well, you know. Don't rub them right. Damn you, Christina. <sighs> so, yeah. Weird. Uh, yeah, and you know what? That makes sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like even just narratively, the big four-armed android. Yeah, I mean, it does make sense. I no guess. one notices the mice man on his back. No. He's a big, giant, four armed. Yeah, they're too busy noticing him. It'd be funnier if it was a Larry Ring, because it'd just be a flying rat they notice, right? 
Do you want to tell us, Bird, why they notice you more than the rest? Um, why you turn heads, apparently? Anything come to mind? Weird. I mean, you're weird and you wear a cape, I guess. Like... There's that. <laughs> um, but he's also in a bit of a mood, I think. So okay. He's almost... I think everyone else is trying to be surreptitious. And he is kind of grumpily dancing <laughs> through the corridors with a cape. On. He's a season and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Imagine the corridors are the aisles of a supermarket, <laughs> and he's a seven-year-old. <laughs> he is new to emoting. <laughs> <laughs> he is uh, trying out this. Mm -hmm. He is yes, and it is somewhat self-gratifying to be in a huff sometimes, right? So yeah, especially when he's being lied to on all fronts, and he feels like he figured out mo, and she ignored his solution. Mm. And uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's is a fair question. I wouldn't be surprised at all if she were, considering mm -hmm. the stuff going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, but fair. Fair uh, assumptions all round. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we're actually. It's not like we're actually sneaking out. We're just trying not to draw too much attention to ourselves. So, it's not the end of the world if a few people know it's a weird guy. <laughs> wandering around the corridors because what they're probably going to say is, "Did you see the big?" It's a cyborg. I don't usually have that many arms. <laughs> but some of them add more, I guess. Why was he in a half? Why was he wearing he a, a cape? He had a cape. Like a, like there, was a, a... there was like some. There was, was there like fur on the cape. <laughs> anyway, um... I hope he wasn't mad at me. Like, is that called a stole? <laughs> right, that thing that would go around your neck. Um, I think it's called a stole. Um... <laughs> so it's like you know some it's silky still it's like yeah a very decadent looking android man yeah oh I, I <laughs> didn't the chat word up uh, to the homie Caleb yeah yeah the homie Caleb hello um, uh, and that's not Caleb from season 7 I hope no um, <laughs> although if it was if it was hello Nathan Fillion Nathan Fillion yeah, hey so buddy yeah. um, so anyway yes use um Navigate through the camp before the storm's hull. You draw attention. Um, I think with that, like, we'll have that as the people will be able to track you, right? Like, it's not that they're going to stop you going where you're going, right? But they will know that you went in that direction, the ship, right? If that makes sense, that would be the the fallout of that mm. that low stealth thing. That makes the most sense because um, nobody would specifically intercept you. Um, but yeah, it just means that. The huffy android is going to be like, oh, he was in that section of the ship, yeah, with the malfunctioning escape pod, yeah, totally. Um, and uh, yeah, you get to the escape pod, you, I guess, pull out your deputy badge. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I need to do. That's what I do. Yeah, you bleep bloop it all. You open the doors, jump inside. Everybody else climbs in, I assume. Oh. Uh. Well, if weird goes in, I don't have a choice. So. <laughs> yeah, as you just get scraped off as he claims in. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, weird ducks, but like you couldn't see the thing coming because his head was in their way, so you don't, you know. <laughs> it's a risk, it's a risk. This is it. Just weird ragdoll like, physics happen, right? Mm -hmm. You just it baggles as much. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like just... one finger caught the door slightly, so now you're spinning wildly con out of control. <laughs> this ragdoll physics has broken me up. Um, Oh uh, no. Oh no! And uh, did you hit launch, Michael? Uh, yeah. I'll you know, really? take a second to make sure all's in order. Mm -hmm. Then hit launch. Yeah, yeah and then the, the door is like seal. Um, possibly oh, in some kind of crew. <laughs> and then, boom, and he's got launched into, into space. And then the nausea effects happen, obviously, because it's probably. Ah, uh, these things suck. Mm -hmm. So we have a scene similar to A New Hope with the droids, I guess, um, temporarily, as you're looking back, and then you know you What's see out of the droid? you see out of the escape, uh, like the, the escape pod kind of like you know viewport uh, behind you. You see just the sheer scale of the super colossal ultron up, right? Um, by comparison to the can before the storm, which was already big enough to like encompass the Kivalari, so. Yeah, big big ships, yeah. big big ships, and then um, yeah, like you just head down to the 
planet, I guess, to Akaton. Uh, we then flash all the way back to... Also, thank you very much, the homie Caleb. Uh, they flash all the way back to a Zora and an incoming transmission on the bridge of the final hour. Yeah, I have. I pressed the button. And it's that um, Vesk PA again. And he says, The Abyss, I have the Grave Epoch Annihilator for you. Stand by. And blinks out. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not prepared for this. It's going to be awful. And then uh, standing <laughs> magnanimously, as he always does, blinks into the middle of the room. Uh, uh, like half projecting over you and goes, Oh, excuse me, Abyss. And he takes a step back, <laughs> laughing to himself. How informal of us. And just uh, smiles at you. As if you were best friends, right? Uh, I, I, I thought I would try and drop in for once. I see. Hopefully with good news. Uh, and he kind of like leans forward when he says that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's just the many bad life choices as all this story. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's just your bad choices, but <laughs> we've all made time, bad choices. We're on session seventy nine of this monster. It's been bad choices all the way down. At least time this time I actually plan on backstabbing them, right? Uh, right. So, uh, yeah, it's about the proposition you made. Oh, I see. As I said, good news, I hope. Uh, I'd perhaps be willing to accept it with a few. Um, Don't say cravats like Stephen would. Say caveats. <laughs> caveats, yeah. I was asking hey. the word I was looking for. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> like, I was so shy to think of the word that I was like, there's a word here. And I'm not thinking. <laughs> and, uh, you know... Demogesh smiles his big toothy Vesky smile, and uh, he says, I wouldn't expect any less from someone of your status, the Abyss. But not. I'll just show his wonderful piece of art as well, because he's glorious. Look at him. Good old Demogesh. Oh. Not as if I am uh, in agreement. I have high stature. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, that's me. I agree. Uh, well, Starters, there's my crew is my crew. I don't follow. Is he smiling? Well, I mean, if I'm to operate efficiently, I want to be surrounded by people that I know, and I've been working with my crew very efficiently over the last X years. Uh, figure a number out. Yeah, Two, three, something of that. Yeah. Like, at this point, over the last insert valid number here years. Yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Missing SFX shot here. Yeah. And quite frankly, I wanted to stay that way. I understand completely. Of course, these are people you've built up, uh, operating under your ex Vesk ways. Of course, oh. I understand that if you were brought back into the Viscarium, you would be very um unfamiliar, and you would need to build up a regiment of trustworthy officers beneath your command. Of course I understand this. Just smiling the whole time he's saying this. So enough, you can have it to kick I was about to say cravats. <laughs> 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 the strike of the cravat. Uh, uh, I was about to say uh, uh, I said a few caveats. I can't actually think of any caveats. It's going to be something else, though. Take a wee second, like, you can outsource if you want to pause just now, outsource to your fellow players, right? Caveats of ensuring that we don't get fucked by him too much and all we can backstab him. <laughs> 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 so anything else then you can suggest for Zora to caveat in the allegiance pledge? Um... I guess there, there must be some sort of like independence of like you'll get like whatever he wants you to get done, you'll get it done, but not like you'll do it your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a way, that's a way of thinking. Um, yes, yeah, so she'll be 
go do that. Um, anything else? Okay. Weird. Any suggestions from you? Um, not dealing with middle managers. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'd so just be like the thought of. Like stands with a vest, like otherwise speak to that fucking comms officer. That's <laughs> 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 fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for making me speak to a fucking middle class. Um, what about you, Lyco? Any suggestions? Because Zora might want to add in more caveats. So Yeah, sorry, I was uh, AFK okay. for a second there. Uh, yeah, um, so we've probably covered wanting a degree of autonomy for our a degree. Not agree, a degree of autonomy for a group, which is apparently difficult for me to say. Um, uh, let me think. So the things that have been covered so far is some sort of his crew's cover. his, right? So his crew's his. Yeah. Um, not dealing with that, uh, the PA middleman guy, or any in sure. general middleman. What was the other thing? It was um, do, to doing it my way. <laughs> I want to do that, really. Wait. Mm. It's. Not a bad idea. I mean, if we're doing this anyway, and it turns out we might now need it again, who knows? Mm -hmm. Who knows mm -hmm. if we do? Uh, but no, uh, it's a legal matter for like Babat to maybe back us up a bit better, with, right? Because he's got at the very back, least, it like... creates a problem for him if he has a if he has a question between the Pact Worlds and the Vesk having a claim on someone. But on the other hand, like I'm inclined to think he would probably there'd probably be some sort of be able to explain the situation and be back, oh, I, right? Though, like, yeah, I just think right. like oh, he would probably have some sort of uh, precedent of taking a Pact Worlds law perspective when there's a clash between Pact Worlds and Vesk because they are enforcing the Pact and its mm. laws. So, I uh, actually think about it, it might be a useful stalling tactic or such. See, no, uh, I don't even need to actually ask Double Cash for that. Be been stated that the vest could be just, I could just pull my own fucking weight. But he has all the strings already set up. Yeah, he's, you'd yeah, need to he's set got up. a lot more weight. Like, um, he's got a lot more weight, but as people just say, well, what is this? Yeah, I don't know if it's fun. really necessary at this point. If it was a desperate situation where we're stalling for time, <laughs> in the interest of time, but yeah. right now, it would we're seeking him be a good um, way if you proposed it maybe as like. Here, can you also do me a favor and then make him kind of feel like he has an upper hand on you? Because in theory, you owe him a favor. Plus, in in the meta and to the degree, some of Zora's knowledge as well. Using Mogesh to buy problems for Emma O regarding query buys Babak time to try and suss out why. Right. And I think that's not something like you'd Zora'd work that out, right? That's easy. Zora's been in enough of that nonsense to to really work that out. I could so, maybe just ask a big pressure or a bit, right? Like the matter. Even though even the matter. Even I was I don't, that like, probably wouldn't fly. Would why would he care, right? Like ultimately. Yeah. No, it's, it, yeah. It's a favourite his new <laughs> diplomatic. <laughs> 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 I, I think we don't necessarily need to worry too much nah, about that. Nah, nah. right well, let's go back right. to the scene, right? Let's let's fold back into the scene, right? Yeah. So you've got your caveat, yeah, right? So that your first one yeah, is no. you keep your crew. Yeah, yeah, and that also goes into the point of if you want something done, I do it my way. Of course, I have no interest in stepping on your toes unless they're holographic toes, of course. And he just laughs. God, to himself, <laughs> and then uh, nonce, man. he like waves his hand vaguely um, as it flickers for the hologram, and then he says, um, "However, if I ever give you a direct order, I expect it to be followed with no questions asked. This is something that will be unlikely because I respect your autonomy. This is why I'm bringing you on board. Understood? But not because I cannot have dissent in the ranks. And I feel like it's a matter of." respect there should be a more direct com link so i don't need to speak he to waves the, his hand vaguely and he goes of course well, i'm sure yes. we can arrange direct comms i would need yes, to keep yes. tabs on my you know most famous officer and he just grins grin uh, <laughs> back uh, oh, 
It's <laughs> <laughs> a disgusting taste in the back. Well, of his he, he, like, he puts up like a you know a clawed finger and he says, "I do want to reinforce, though, if I do direct your attention somewhere, I do not expect to be kept waiting. You are my sword and shield in this matter, and I expect to be protected and served well." I can nod slowly as if, do you understand? And we'll wait for Zora. Oh, shit, I was muted. Mm -hmm. uh, I was about to poke my nose in further than I should probably, but I'm not going to. Uh, that's great, except that. Uh, I would nod. Good. Now, if you do have any particular issues with any commands I give you, you may file them to. And he meant motions to the you know, vague direction where the comm officer was dismissed with a hand wave. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of, uh, looks, and kind of chuckles to himself. He goes, I'm sure all of this minutia can be sorted out. Um, and kind of nods vaguely, as if a lot of this is kind of beneath his attention. Um, and says, Was there anything else, the Abyss? Right, so you've covered, keep your crew, do things your way, except if he tells you something, you've agreed that you'll do what he tells you. But he also then stated he doesn't really intend to be telling you what to do, because the the having you is the thing he cared about, right? For your status. And then, um, yeah. And also you've asked for the the direct comms that he's hand waved, like, as a, of course that'll happen. Try and mingle in on like what's happening on by axis, but I don't know why I'd go that I'm far. Yet. You want to overplay your hand? Nah, You're going to no, mention I query then? Right Is that next thing on the agenda? Was that sorry? Query? Is he next on the agenda then? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's if I actually really bother ask him about that, really. I mean, it just depends. Do you want to buy by that time to work out what the hell MO wants with query? I would, I just don't know how to word that. I don't know why. Just say while we're on the subject of um, things we can do for each other, right? Like, oh yeah, while we're, we're on the subject of what we can do for each other, one of my crew members have um, ran into a little problem with Aspis, the CEO? CEO? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's the CEO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The CEO. She's trying to get our grubby little Crystalline mitts <laughs> on <laughs> or a <laughs> lovely phrase that <laughs> his ocular ridges raise and he just kind of like nods as if yeah that makes sense. <laughs> uh, don't suppose you could uh, perhaps put some pressure on her. He kind of like he turns his head slightly as if looking to somebody else, obviously. Um, and then like in his hand is placed like a a data pad, and he goes ah this Narakis CEO. Nod. I will see what I can do. What is this person's name of interest to you? Uh, see that? You've, you've got to tell him. I mean, <laughs> query. <laughs> he goes, ah, most unusual. And anything else you can tell me that will help narrow this search? This is in the arrow of Zorro Perhaps of some kind of chain code they have, and that's just like a vest term to say your fucking like date of birth and ID codes, like your national insurance number type idea. Your, you know, your obviously the vest have a very formal way of just saying here is your birth stamp. Move on, but um, uh, uh, <laughs> fuck, man, I don't really actually know what <laughs> What do you know about Query? Just describe what you know about Query then. I think that's the best he's, you can do, right? It's next, not next. That's basically the only thing that I don't I know about. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, can anybody else think of a way that Zora could describe Query? Probably one of the few people who have no record of any kind of existing ever. Yeah. Apart from maybe Sparks. 
that would be a worthwhile thing to mention. It's like, yeah, there's going to be very little record of him. He's extra, maybe don't say extra universe, maybe extra dimensional rather than it, you know. Uh, it's outer system, what's it? outside the outer system. Uh, Vesk, probably. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> X. Extra solar? Extra solar would be out of a solar system. Uh, uh, guys, uh, it might be difficult to find any information on him because he's um, an extra solar creature. He's not from this system. Not one of the Islanti um, Empire, no? Oh, not I know of anyway. He just chuckles to himself like that's a you know amusing idea. Um, and he like you know hands this data pad off off screen to the hologram people, and uh, he looks at you with his hands folded behind his back and his puffed out chest, and he says, "Abyss, this seems like a a laundry list, and I am no maid." So I will leave you to your business, I, and what? I'm sure the officials can, well, you know, and he just kind of chuckles, unless there was anything else. Uh, I would shake my head. Uh, nothing for now. Kind of like narrows his eyes. He goes, I'll be in touch. And he blinks out. I don't know why he's after he blinks out. <laughs> As he blinks out, Alice is just standing there. As if she's already somehow walked in the room and sat down behind him. Um, I'll just... <laughs> she just says, he was handsome too. What is uh, it with Fesk? Uh, but a dashing people. She just kind of, she just kind of <laughs> looks at you. Thing. And she's like, hmm. Okay. <laughs> so is... Is she's he my her. boss then, or? Uh, he's he's a scoundrel, and one mm. day he will die. <laughs> she just looks. <laughs> I would maybe not say that aloud. On this and she's like, <laughs> um. Or, the, or maybe Matt will love that you've said that. <laughs> Chuckling in the closet with Probably. her her dictaphone, yeah. And um, <laughs> Alice goes, oh, oh. okay, um. But is he my boss, though? You know, in the meantime, kind of. until he dies. Oh, he's my boss. Okay. I'm your boss. And your bosses aren't my boss. Gotcha. Correct. Uh... <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. I mean, I wouldn't mind that she just rocket launched them as soon as she seen him, to be honest, man. It's all like, sure. <laughs> I mean, technically, we've already said he's a friend, so. Yeah. Uh, you should have stuck the clause of, I am not accountable for the actions of my crew. <laughs> And then uh, she goes. So does that mean we're getting more more use on board? Oh, absolutely not. Right. Okay. Because you know it'd be handy to have like a B shift. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and she just walks away. <laughs> Honestly, I'd like, just be like, oh, I didn't at that. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we fade to uh, the crash site of the escape pod uh, in the middle of the Akatonian desert and uh, yeah there's a we just have the, the outside shot of the, the smoke coming from the, the engines on the back of the escape pod, the hatch popping and flying off and a wide shot where it just you know arcs and smashes into the sand, the sand kicks up and then as you like you know blink and you know Focus away from the glare of the, the bright, bright desert sun. You just climb out. There is a person leaning against the cover truck. Smoking. And I think we all know oh, who it is. For fuck's sake. This is your fault. <laughs> Callum, you know this. And uh, <laughs> the person smoking is uh, Edgar. Like what? Fucking idea. <laughs> and uh, he's, he takes a big draw of his, uh, you know, Arctic air, e cig. And he says, Yep, right where it was predicted. And then we, we end. We end there. <laughs> what have so... you done? <laughs> okay, first of all, before we go anywhere, I'd like to say. <laughs> 
Um, I know previously I did say, oh, I hate this game, but that's a lie. I really <laughs> love this game. <laughs> I'm glad. It's good. So, yeah, thanks. I enjoyed uh, that. Oh, you're welcome. That was a fun session for me. But anyway, we're, we're on to the naming <laughs> section first. The naming section first. What do you want to call the session? Oh, there's loads. Mm. Oh, yeah, Android. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh... I know we said we we're going to call it dissertation, but that was a lie, obviously, for those people that stuck with us. Um, okay. I kind of liked Crazy Query. <laughs> crazy Query. <laughs> Crazy query. Because so much happened this episode, I think. Um, mm. uh, have a bite. How about just no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I typed it just Sna as you said Snap! That. <laughs> Snap, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Vesk gate query. I like it. Vesk has so much mileage, doesn't it? It just does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other thoughts then? Um, we do have loads. Um, have, have we had investigation? I don't think so. No. I, I don't, I, obviously, I don't think we have. Um, it's just like the, the Vesk didn't really investigate. Um, yeah, not I yet. Think, we're, we're hoping that Demogesh is going to do that for us, is the plan, right? Stand um, some of these fucking lackeys or some shit. I like post-dated irony, but obviously that was one of mine. Um, I also wrote down secret content because that was funny. The way weird just walked in and it's like the muttering. Suspect. <laughs> the suspect. The suspect is good, yeah. Sound, mm -hmm. sound uh, like like something more more like a sort of uh, early mm -hmm. to mid eighties mm -hmm. thriller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be an early nineties movie with um, uh, Harrison Ford yeah. uh, or yeah. Tommy Lee Could've Jones. Been, yeah, yeah, yeah starring Harrison Ford. <laughs> yeah. As the suspect, of yeah. course. Yeah. Harrison Ford, can you come play Query for me in like this uh, straight to TV movie that we've got <laughs> well, planned? In 1990, that is well after the point where he stopped caring about his roles. So uh, I'll vote for the suspect. Right. I think that's quite good. Um, any other? What else we got going, guys? I'll, I'll vote for the suspect. I don't okay. know. Um, no was a strong one. I did like that. Um, I yeah, also liked Fine then, um, or Fair Enough. I can't exactly remember her exact words. Was it fair enough? I think she said. Um, when Lyco was like, I don't want to do that. And she's like, fair enough. Walked off. We sort of cancel a own vote by giving one to Zig. <laughs> okay. Uh, weird. Any thoughts? Mm, none useful. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Voice them, though. Yeah. That's what we're here for. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. No, sorry. That's therapy. <laughs> I've confused the two again. What's. Um... <laughs> Unless you've got any other alternative suggestions for a name. No. The Aristocrats. <laughs> One day that will suit, because you'll have contrived yeah, it. Yeah, there will be someday, <laughs> and I won't suggest it then. Because mm -hmm. we'll forget, but <laughs> we'll remember it in two weeks' works, time. It doesn't work. Um, okay, I think uh, the suspect is the winner then. Uh, unless Zora has one to knock it out of the park. No. Yeah, that was easy. There we go, the suspect. Good, Love good. It. And it's... I like that it follows straight after you've got teleshopping, don't panic, the cam before the storm, super colossal, isn't it? The suspect. Um, we I just hear really the Mandalorian have any theme. sort of naming <laughs> convention to speak of, to be honest, do we? We just kind of... No, because we're doing, like, like, session 58 is still the, the weirdest name we've ever, which was Tijiglu. And that was <laughs> the weirdest that we come up with. I have no re 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 uh, re recollection. Ra 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 yeah. I have no recollection. We of also that. have before that the fragments of maternity. Um, That's hilarious. <laughs> yep, that was <laughs> like, that was that was inspired. Genuine, like that is good shit. Alex can just take the rest of the game off for that one. Uh, that was well done. Like, <laughs> yeah, like men living, it's good. Four dimensional chess. Uh -huh. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Missing mm -hmm. intelligence is good. This far no furlough is amazing. <laughs> Three areas, yeah. phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, Suspicious Nines, yep. mm -hmm. Life Support, Events in the Horizon, these are oh, so much good shit, kind of, mm -hmm. oh my, Engine mm -hmm. and Dragon, I'm, am I just reading ones that I made up? I think so. <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what I'd love, is for someone to either like run a game or write a story purely without like just as writer to yeah. and just like and just use these session titles as like chapter titles. I can't wait for the second session, the Goo Crew. 
With this, like... uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I've heard of that website. Uh, yeah, so anyway, moving on. Uh, that, has, that is the suspect that we have for this particular session title, and we'll move on to goals. So, guess what, buddy? I think I may have done it right. Finally he did, did it. He did the thing! You finally completed your goal. Configure the correct rankings I, wait, for the crew. I, I think Zara's completed two goals here. Yeah, let's wait and see then. Let's go. Right, so. And I'm, I'm, I'm Quint, not, I don't want to. Yours is still in play. I don't see too much. But... Never see too much. <laughs> <laughs> Never see anything. Die. Um, sure. <laughs> Maybe if I knew the beginning. Uh, there are so many things. Uh, the homie Caleb, there has been. We did do catch up episodes. Uh, they are somewhere uh, on the YouTube. And I shall yeah. go get you the link for that. How right much now. of it did we spend catching up, and how much of it was just seeing? Is that working? Weird I don't things. think that works. Maybe it's links. I can do a Twitch. You need to do a catch up on the catch up. Okay, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Do apparently, I'll just I'll just type. Uh, go yeah. along with our Considering the last catch up was probably in session forty or something, right? I am. Um, so it's we been a while. Ears and mouth. That's. Uh, desk soap. <laughs> should be it, I think. Um, for the catch up, and then there's on Starfinder. Anyway, so Quint, you've not done yours yet. Retrieve Sindiel's Electroencephalon. And sorry, the that Caleb, that probably won't make a lot of sense to you, any of those words, except maybe retrieve. Don't worry, it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> it's dust. Ish. Uh, weird, you've still oh, not weird. established your but uh, I love how I link and then eventually it comes up on the, the stream elements anyway. There we go, there's my link. So <laughs> um, stream elements. Thank you. Uh, if you see it like that, it's funnier. Weird hasn't stream established elements. his business yet, but he might be getting a spider leg soon. Which is good. Yes. Is nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, and with Query on board, I can get buckets of spines. <laughs> Query mm -hmm. on board. I know you should have just picked up Emma Ozen, put it in the null space to start the project, right? <laughs> um, but good. Give that oh over to God, Bob. Uh, what if every time she dies, a different one appears? What if she has quantum immortality? <laughs> That's what I said, isn't it? Uh -huh. Is it? <laughs> I don't remember that. He said, I... "Which one are you? Are you another one? Yeah, and yeah, I mean, are you like a trans-dimensional yeah. being? Like I don't That's know. I got quantum thing. immortality from that. I, I got like the <laughs> transdimensional being thing, but I didn't know that you were actually suggesting like literally she couldn't die because she would just go to a different oh, universe. Where she I put die in possession crystalline mitts. <laughs> crystalline <laughs> mitts. Oh yes. <laughs> I was going to write that good. down. Oh. <laughs> it is good, but you know. Um. Right. I have so, a flair for the dramatic. So. Weird. You've not done yours yet. Zig, you haven't checked your bloods in the hive market yet. Um, uh, no. Is Andy changing their personal goals at the moment? In his defence, he's not been in Hive Market yet. <laughs> I feel like that's my not next recently, stop. recently, anyway. <laughs> but he could have walked out of an airlock at any point and just flew there, so... <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> 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 When you realise that the character you've made does not like utilise the, the abilities that he has to the most efficiency. That's fine, who does that? Um, Zara, what is this? What is, I know, I know. I was waiting on that word. I oh, know, you're good. You're, you're good, buddy. Your door trick was nice, actually. I liked the, the, the save on the door trick was good, but we'll get to that. Um, what's the Zora personal goal? What do we think Zora should have as a personal goal now? Now you've got a, a blank slot for your goals. That's a good question, man. Yeah. I'm not too sure. Uh, what's the most immediate next thing? What's the immediate next thing? Because uh, I don't mind if it's, um, you know, somewhat meted just now if you have a brain conversation about it you know surely it's uh, the perennial reunite with the crew no uh, that's an autocomplete right so yeah. <laughs> I think I gave you that for free once so with this crew or are you sure <laughs> get a new crew located entirely possibly in... get a new crew <laughs> um, I mean you could that's right. an all that's an all um I mean, obviously, it's always something to do with Hackathon or something. But I don't know, right? Like, oh, okay. What, what, we we sort of have things in Hackathon we're focused on, but does Zora have anything he could do while he's there? On Hackathon, not really. I mean, arguably, right? They've still got the Azure Flare in orbit, right? So they're not stranded by any means. They could just, you know, assuming 
Friday hasn't boosted by now. But yeah, like I don't really expect to like an Akaton for that huge amount of time. Yeah, you, probably. You true. could go off to like wherever Demogish is, right, and try and <sighs> scope that out. Straight away. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm not doing that straight. <laughs> you and Alice Yorks take on the Viscarium. Yeah. I'd watch that. I think can we get Yorks done, maybe get mm -hmm. Cindy back in action, and then we can start mm -hmm. prodding on Demogish, because mm -hmm. that's where we'll probably have some actionable shit against them. Probably. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least what a about... weapon against them as well. Uh, you could use some of your downtime to do some... Because if we're all sort of occupied with stuff, maybe... I mean, I'm going to be occupied, but not for as long as our uh, spire-like buddy is. Like, what? What about we make like the? You could maybe move one of the main goals into a personal goal. Maybe so. Let's it summarize later. what Colin's saying into. It'll take about two weeks of recovery, probably for a weird to get his legs operational, and that's like a bare minimum. Let's yeah. learn how to fucking communicate and use Ivan. Okay. We can link go. Ivan into our mental. Um... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did he not require a certain degree of intelligence and do uses half of that degree of intelligence? I, will well, I don't know yet. Find that out in a second. What is the, the limit of intelligence? Uh, I think it's a minimum of three. Uh, let me check. I'll double stats. check, though. Um, Ivan wouldn't qualify. Ah! Um, if it's a minimum of three. He would not qualify. Um, let what me double this? check. <laughs> I've, oh god. Um, yeah, so you maybe want to... You could write something about Ivan though, right? You could I have got like a... shocked to learn that the uh, largely inanimate object of the low IQ... Intelligence score of 3, a modifier of minus 4 or higher. Oh, then he would qualify. Eight. Yeah. Ass. Okay, he's got a score of three or higher. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's intelligent fucking so it's not man. As <laughs> <laughs> I am Zyvan, the smartest of oozes. Well, I'm glad he's got, got that level of like, someone like, hmm, if it's a score of three or lower, I don't think you can actually communicate because you don't understand language as a concept, but okay. Yeah, so no, luckily it's, it's good. Score yeah, it's fine. His score is higher than three, yeah. Um, I think learn how to communicate and use Ivan. I think learn how to maximize Ivan's potential is probably a better phrase because really what you're trying to do is There's actually a lot of as well. right oh. <laughs> it's also very like buzzwordy and um, agile right um, as a word I... Quint I assume we're keeping your goal yes uh, weird are you switching out your goal or are you keeping it I'm um, keeping mine cool I... as I said for everyday narrative downtime if you are going to get Weird chopped in half. It'll have two weeks of stuff yeah, you can get right. up to as well, which is good. Uh, Zig, Blood's checked in Hive Market. I feel like that's a good time to well, get it done. I feel like now is the time to get mm -hmm. that done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, so, general goals. I uh, speak with Ramaseth, who I assume is going to stay because Lyco could arguably do that. In fucking the... bear at this mm -hmm. point. <laughs> uh, preparing to embark for Eox could be the end of arguably next session, if you sort out all your shit next session. Um. Unlikely, but we can try. I mean, I mean yeah. we can hope, right? We can hope. It's um, my track record. Uh, yeah. Just don't snap any necks or blow up any diners and hope for the best. Um, Jobs are good. control over this car crash. Yeah. Uh, immediately keep Creo out of uh, Aspis's hands. So... Right? I think that's currently a success. The problem is... I think weird. I'm gonna give you that, even though it became like uncompletable, right? Because weird did enough to delay, right? Like the successful bullshit with the door. I'll lean into he that, did? right? I don't mind he... leaning into that, right? That's that did delay things. So yeah, and it seems like he's boosted anyway. So I'll give you that one. Right, even if yeah. it wasn't technically done specifically, but things evolved. So yeah, you can move that over. Because I think uh, I think if you read it as like within the immediate future, <laughs> keep them out of Aspen's hand. The immediately is like depends on how you interpret that. It, it's it's not that. It's more of the what did you actually do? Stop as is getting them technically nothing. Right. So it's not that. It's just. You did do enough to delay the, the clusterfuck of that particular scene. 
So weird did good. <laughs> weird did what he's good at. Um, is break technology. <laughs> um, the so. obtuse to authority figures. Yeah, right. Even locked doors. Via technology. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's a really cool move. Choose to authority. Uh, good it was album. one of the last we'll receive uh, Dead Kennedy's albums. Uh, right. Sign up with the Mogesh. Like that joke. Fun, uh, I guess. Yeah. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Triple done. I'll use a triple done. It's three goals, guys. He's dead. Winner. Chicken. What would you need? Like four more or something? Uh, Five more? Nine. Six. No, I think it's fourteen. We're going. He's only need fourteen goals. I was like, oh, we're going to fourteen. Okay, cool. Remember, I just decided to skip all the odd levels Eight. now. That's because so, they're uh, odd. Six. Six more goals. So, two more sessions like this, guys, and these could be 14. I could just go for the whole clean no, slate. Wipe them all. Just, just wipe them. them. Yeah, and you do have, like, you know, nine goal slots possible. So, uh, retrieve valuable objects from Eox for trade for Bob. I'm assuming you're keeping that goal. Seems good to me. Uh, you've got two blank general goals, guys. Get them filled then. What are we having? Um. Find query. <laughs> or rather, find leads in the query case. Because I don't expect to find them super quickly. Query. Colon. Query. <laughs> <laughs> query. Query. Yeah. Or just yeah. query. Buffalo. Buff um. <laughs> Buffalo Bill. Anyway. So, yeah, it puts the lotion on its skin. So, what's the what's the thoughts, gang? What's your next goal you want to pop in? Query is probably on the general goals, right? Sure. Um, it's a general task, really. Um, keep query out of Aspis's hands later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a good goal, Post. buddy. I think that's a bad goal. The wording of that's just, would you, would you ever be able to complete that if I was that much of a dick? Um, and don't underestimate how much I enjoy it anyway. So keep, let's keep going with the two goals. What have we got? So a query could be a good goal, right? Like, follow up on the query it's case. Fine query, right? Because mm -hmm. again, it's the most conclusive, right? You could always I'm have, have find out why Aspas are so interested in them. As well, that. find out which dimension MO is. <laughs> which MO is from which dimension this time? Yeah. How do we lock a door on MO? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what is an MO? <laughs> exactly, which is a very valid question. Um, Crystalline day of You leave wonderful Michelle Lowell, uh, you alone. Okay. <laughs> That was everything to Just say. ask Edgar. So, Next session, straight up. First yeah. thing. I mean, what the fuck is MO? I feel like I've done that already. I think we have. I think you have. At the point, I think you specifically have asked that question. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think I said, Ring What spells. is she? Mm. <laughs> so, and I got. Uh, mm. Yeah, it was very vague. Yeah. Let's face it. Very vague, because he's Edgar. Um. Edgar Weslin. So you've got him with a hover truck standing next to you guys. Uh, so that can arguably get you back to wherever you want to go, depending on which way you want to go. Um, you've got the Query situation, you've got the Aspa situation, you've got the Vesk nonsense, the Kivalari crew, you've got all the stuff. You've kind of covered most of the Daza and Akatai well, stuff anyway. I think a so, general goal should be, what the fuck did Zig actually do? I think the crew yeah. needs to know what I was, the fuck I was going Zig to actually does. Like I, I was like, <laughs> I feel like either, um, I feel like it's the perfect opportunity to at least get, like, Lyco and Weird kind of, like, semi-clued in on, like, Weird Zig Jank. Well, keep in mind, this will make a lot, this will be a lot easier after Ramaseth is spoke to. Uh -huh. Right. That's true, yes. Because then everybody um, gets to remember that's everything That's kind of what Zig's I was waiting up. for anyway, so, yeah. As everyone but simultaneously across the goal. galaxy just turns around and goes, Fuck, sick. <laughs> probably still could be a goal though, right? Because it's probably one of the closer sick. things that could happen. Really. So, Zig oh. had that, right? Like, we had that as a goal at some point, right? Um, where was it? It's, yeah. it's before... Yeah. Reintegrate with the crew, bring them a crew up to date. So, I mean... 
So we just shimmy that up and I just move, say, so, and that allows it like those arguments down to fill in the mathematical gap, right? So I feel like we've covered yeah, that, um... right? Because it wasn't bluff the crew to bring them up to date. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like if there's no more to tell them, right? Unless, is there? I mean, I don't really know if... I think, I think like, th that goal is purely dependent on how everyone feels after Ramasethu jank. Right. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe hold off then until we've had the Ramasethu. Yeah. And then we'll see how that could slot in. Um, it just depends if you've got because something I feel more pressing, because like... you do have two slots, right? So. Yeah. And I feel like, like, I mean, there's it's going to be, like, enough, enough, like, jank trying to get, you know, everyone on board with Edgar on mm -hmm. Edgar crew currently. Okay, yeah. I've put in query for query for one. Yep. So, That's yep. at least, it They're fills a slot, late. yeah. I don't know. I assume query for query is specifically around use wanting to find query. Because or query for query figure is figure out what the fuck he's doing as well would also be a factor, but finding him is probably the main goal. Sussing query out, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. What, right, so we are going to be clearly interacting with fucking Edgar. Uh, why don't we put something Aspis related in? Because he might be able to assist with that. That was what Zig suggested, right? Did I you? think. Sorry, my brain. Vaguely, not... yes, but you yeah, word then you're correct. better than I do. So, <laughs> you're no. I think you're you're. If if that, I, I sorry, I. It's you just because we start talking know about me memories. Speaking. I know you. Uh, do. <laughs> uh, so, so I think that's a very good. I think that's a very good point because we have. So what is it you're going to learn? What do you like? What's the what's the dream condition to win that? He's got to know something about what MO is, right? Okay, so Zig's pursued that, so it might need to be somebody else that pursues that, right? And I don't mean that Zig couldn't push it, I just mean Zig didn't get anywhere. So it might need to yeah, be someone yeah. like Lyco. We don't necessarily need to be direct about it. We could find out what the fuck he's been up to. We could try and find out um, some I guess... things about the internal workings organisation that might give us a hint to what our endgame is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess, like, you could, you could, like, instead of, like, making it just, like, off, oh, find out what like um MO is like you could try and kind of get a gauge of Aspis from him to see if we can kind of ascertain what they want now, with query. I think he did tell you where she was from. That's right, I think yes, he did, yes, yeah. He did. He did. Hmm? And it was somewhere um, fairly obscure. Could also like tell us why the fuck she was like an owner in the York scene shit so mm. maybe possibly. Yeah, or at least seemed to be. Mm -hmm. Definitely seemed to be, yeah. There were no other ships nearby, right? And obviously, who would go near that? Then it's just going to turn out that she just... Also, the weapon, right? Road. Could also find out about the weapon from... The weapon. The weapon? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that big red biomass weapon? Bio yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bio weapon. Assuming he knows anything about that. Yeah, I mean, I'm it's just assuming, like, we, I, I'm just well, like, we could just have like a fleece Edward for some info. So I go, Edward. you know, like, Who's just, Edward? Yeah. <laughs> Edward. Edward. Uh, Edgar. Sorry. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Uh, it was a moon called Halas. That's right. Yes. Yeah. I remember there being very weird colors. Mm. That's not. That it was actually a really cool sister. I really liked the what the moon was it. The moons around um hey, oh, I forgot the planet. Yeah, that's the one. Or Brutheta, because both are full of moons. Moons for days, but yeah, Leavara. I think Leavara, was that one. I think that's where Hala. Okay, anyway, I might just got that wrong. But I'll let it in post. Yeah, it's like the, the, the funky um Leavara, yeah. Pop punk moon. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> um, I actually understand what he means. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, is that our, like, you could maybe look into, if you want to learn about MO, instead of Edgar, because obviously that seems to have, I'm not saying he doesn't necessarily know more, because that's obviously something I can't actually comment on, 
Yeah, the... we, don't, we don't have to specify, like... It could just no be, like, be investigate happy. more about MO, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I think if... Uh, or at least... Because obviously we'll have, um, we have, like... Uh, escape pod time as well. It doesn't take like three seconds to get down to Akka. So I'm going to take a note. I'm not sure how much conversation would have gone on in there, to be fair. Plus, you've got two weeks of narrative time to play with when yeah. you've got yeah. your Android in recovery. Um, so, don't worry about that. So, I, th I, I think um, Weird's trans dimensional being comment may. Give Zig like a little like oh well here's what I know about MO and something. Um, I was gonna pop in gain useful MO info. Yeah. I think that's yeah. big that's enough, right? Sweet. And I think the same for query, right? So if we do yeah. that and then change that to query. Because that way it has like a definitive yeah, user have done enough to qualify it. So we've got speak with the Ramasethu, prepare and embark for EOX, gain useful uh, uh, query info, gain useful MO info. It doesn't matter where you get it from at that point. Um, mm -hmm. As long as it's something you can act on um, for some kind of use. And then retrieve valuable objects from EOX for trade with QBob. Uh, are they happy with us? Yeah. Any personal changes for goals? Because I know we've got learn how to maximize Ivan's potential as king of the old ooze. Yep. Uh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if, if the Power Rangers taught us anything. Mm -hmm. And we've got retrieve some dials electron settlement, which would follow on with the speak with Rama Sethu and embark for Eox, and establish cybernetics business or weird. So we're sorted for goals. Obviously, things change. Hit me up through the week, uh, and we can see if we can work on that. Other than that, though, let us do our wrap chats and let us start with the Huffy Android. Huff. <laughs> um, that was a thoroughly enjoyable session. It's nice to get to use abilities that I've not mm -hmm. possibly not used at all. It's one of those things where I like the sheer utility that I am often surprised by every session. And it's like, this happened, you go, it's okay, I've got a, an app for that. And it's, it's great, <laughs> actually. Like, it's such... It reflects how good the character gen is, right, in this. I think your characters are super fun to utilize in Starfinder, even if we're mm -hmm. not great on the system. Um, it's the advantage of having so many rules is that there's so many ways to diverge into different character concepts. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like, we're all pretty unique in what we do. Yeah, definitely. Unique is definitely keywords here, yep. As we discovered, I do not do charisma. <laughs> uh, no, apparently. Um, not at uh, all. But yeah. Languages, yes. <laughs> Using them. Uh. Language was a code I learned, and programming was something I chose not to do in that case. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's good. It was nice to see um, you put into a position where it isn't just that I can phase through this problem. It was a, oh, you don't believe me because why would you? Um... I'll just break the, the door. <laughs> out of it. Yeah. That's yes, good. the old tactical break it. <laughs> break it and just walk away. <laughs> that was, it was good. Yeah. Poor Duran. Um, what a stressed life she's got by comparison to Sanchez. Yeah. I just want to find out what the hell's going on with Query. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. It's a good angle to, to investigate. He's a frustrating lad. Yeah. Um, An oddball. I always enjoy Lycos and chats with the... Uh, the NPCs as well. <laughs> the, uh, particularly, I think, after we discovered that he was the only one that can't fly through space <laughs> like a Wonder Boy. It's yeah. truly really driven home that he is in a different genre to the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's the one that can speak to people coherently, though. <laughs> yeah, but he's over there doing his film noir. The longer he talks to someone, film. the more their brain risks exploding or falling backwards through time. <laughs> Zara ends up agreeing and signing up for all the pyramid schemes. Yep. <laughs> and you establish you can't Oof. actually roll pa a pass on a check. So yes. so here we are. If I'm talking to someone, I've already failed. So likewise, yeah. in fact, vital to this crew. Yes. 
I am an important family member. The most I'm vital ones, the most you dead. You took them down. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a great relationship. Um, it's good. It's really good. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> what else is there? Um. Uh, enjoy the captain doing his negotiation. He's just so cheerful for a vesk. <laughs> yeah, that's Admiral, I'll have you know. But yeah. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Admiral. Um Admiral You'll always be my captain. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at him checking out the new emotion suite he's got access to. Yep. Yep. So far I'm mostly down the Huffy end. Mm -hmm. Huffy and <laughs> Yeah, but Heartfelt um. was next to Huffy, right? So you've obviously leaned on that yeah. button by accident. Um, um uh, and I did enjoy your um, attempt at flipping the interrogation back on MO. I did enjoy that. <laughs> I, um, when it was just a, are you transdimensional? And I heard you just, just grinning. Like, that wasn't my question. Go, yeah, but it was mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's good. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. like a very. Yeah. It's good because obviously, as I said, I, question. plus I think I was following the same breadcrumbs you were as well, just in terms of like from your last line of questioning from the previous session. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. As a, you know, I don't remember ever meeting you, you know, that, you know, complete, obviously you're older five on your sense motive as well, so. Yeah. It's good, I like that. Emma always, I like that she's a goal just now, because it's good that you're trying to work out her deal, I guess. Before we kill her. Yeah, obviously. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> Before Zig mind links with her. It's, <laughs> it's, maybe, it's maybe the only if way. anything's going to work. <laughs> yeah. Zig mind links with her and she just shoots herself in the Ah, uh, the old Bianca be Fane method. Yeah, uh, it's well established. Anything else? Uh, weird. Uh, the Mogesh hmm. feeling a little bit shat now. Was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> instantly frustrating. Um, he does seem like he'd want to direct his own film. Right? I got that vibe from him, the way I was doing that as well. It's like, he definitely loves himself, right? Yeah. He thinks he is a uh, I could see him played by Shatner. Mm -hmm. I'd love that, that'd be yeah. great. I could see him play by Shatner, yeah, just on stilts though. Um <laughs> as a tall boy. Um And with his face painted green. Or like a slightly who, who would... less serious Brian Blessed. <clears throat> who would you cast Nimoy as though? Uh Nimoy. Obviously. Uh, no one because he's dead. I back. Okay. Right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Works. Just dig him up just to really <laughs> piss off Shatner. Um, I mean, it's, it's not not difficult. But anyway, let's not shame Shatner here, shall we? Let's move on. Oh, to Shatner shame. Yeah. Anything else? I'm not trying, to, I'm not trying to cast the rest of the crew in my head. Well, we should just do a, on a Monday when somebody can't make it. We should just do a fan casting episode where it's just us going through the cast list and going. That's actually quite fun. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. We'll just we'll, we'll just get our uh, casting team on the go for the straight to TV movie that we do of this, <laughs> where we cram the whole story into two hours. Um, so, but besides that, any I other thoughts about the game? I, I, yeah. Uh, no, that's all for me. Okay, perfect. Um, Zig? Okay, so that was great. That was a great session. I really loved it. Um, my highlight is Emma O saying to Lyco, you want to walk and talk, and Lyco's saying no. <laughs> My next favorite part is when Lyco comes into the the room <laughs> and says specifically, um, I told her I didn't fancy chatting. That's not quite... Listen, <laughs> listen, I did actually. No, after I said no and she just walked off, I was in the middle of saying, it's like... But you know, I was gonna say I was trying to say something to her, like the effect of. <laughs> but if it's important, I will talk to you. Uh -huh. uh, but she just took the no and left. <laughs> yep, I loved it. I, loved I it. also it was loved perfect. it. I really enjoyed it. It was such a good moment. Um, but it is. It's that like, <laughs> like I know, like Lyco's intention wasn't just to go no, but that's what happened. Oh yeah. And then yeah. he came in and told everyone that what he intended to happen actually happened, yes. and that made me really happy. <laughs> You're absolutely right. He did do that. <laughs> the PR guy. Yeah. 
What was he going to do? Say, uh, she asked me to talk, but I accidentally said no. <laughs> it's like when somebody stops you in the street for like to sign up to the charity, and you just you try and say, "Oh, I'm not free," or "I don't have time," and you just end up saying "Don't" awkwardly to them. You have to power <laughs> walk away. <laughs> yep, I used to I've get not done that. Nope. From people because I would just say no to them. Um, <laughs> Not from them, but it upset like my mother and that to no end. <laughs> people, she told, told me once, like going down the street in Edinburgh. God, I was maybe like fourteen at the time. She was like, "See that poor lassie looked so upset." It's like I didn't mean it. The, um, by the way, any other thoughts? Like, um, I don't know. There's just something nice about like having the captain away and <laughs> myself. No, 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 myself. <laughs> And like, especially weirds bad roles, and then like my like one or two bad roles when talking to Mo, and then going, uh I- I'm fairly certain the captain could have talked us out of this. Uh, that's a lot of faith. Um... <laughs> I have faith in my admiral captain. Um, I just love the amount of shade you throw for uh, Somebody Solomon. Um, I, mean, I think Alice has got faith in me as well, right? Don't don't discount Alice. She's she's got your back, buddy. Um, it might be with a bazooka aimed at the wrong thing, but it's you know she's there. Um, uh, I mean, I'm fine. Yeah. Zig, I actually really enjoyed your chat with Mo. I thought it was really fun. Um, your little back and forth. It's good. Yeah, I I actually enjoyed. Also, I was I was going to I was like teetering on whether or not saying like when she said, "Oh, I'm sure I'll see you in at some point or whatever." Mm. Um, I was like going to say. Um, I look forward to it because I don't think that would be a lie, and mm-hmm. um, because I think J- Zig and uh, Jig uh, <laughs> Zig enjoyed that exchange as well. Like that, that was just Jig and Soy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's kind of one of the few times where he's felt like seen, he's... respected, like yeah, acknowledged. Um, that's the fucking trap. It's like <laughs> it's the trap, man. <laughs> Don't listen Look, to him, Zig. He, know, he just bent like, the knee right. to his enemy. His most hated enemy just bent the knee to. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, and also because with the 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 idea that like it may come to the point where MO is the only person who can attain the the Daza egg. Mm. So there's there's that sort of or at least like as 19, well, whereas... the nineteen body pile up over, right? You know, mm, yeah. <laughs> At least one version of her will be able to move it. <laughs> yep. Um. So there is the like, as much as he doesn't like her, there is that at the back of his mind, kind of maybe not drawing him towards her, but like, hmm. Mm. I liked our little comment she said to you. That was good. I like your reaction to the comment as well. It was just a nice exchange, like a really just simply pleasant exchange, which is kind of rare sometimes in this game. Like no undercurrents of a uh, agenda, just you know. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't. Know. Oof. It's not like there's this game's layered for the players, the intentions, and the story. Um, or maybe I'm also the Zig coming to the the possible like idea that wait, the thing that I actually intended to go and do is mm-hmm. the thing that I am neglecting mm-hmm. for well, essentially a year now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's is fine. um. Yes, yeah, so it'll be. It'll be well, very the other exciting. you had it covered for a bit, right? You know, for that year. Mm. So it wasn't like you were technically neglecting it. You, you, one of you, were solving that problem and causing yes. it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it would be interesting if, you, like, you chose to then, you could use some of your two weeks to go to the sun, right? I was, I was thinking about that as we were talking about um, the, our, our two weeks. Yeah, time. because yeah. that's worked out every time we've attempted it so far. I mean, you need a couple of people to try and get this Daza egg if you want it, right? So you're going to need to b- build the bodies up, okay? So you'll need a bunch of zigs. Um, all dispelling the Calling radiation. Calling all zigs! <laughs> yep, the quantum zig. The zig roll call. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I, I enjoyed that. I liked the, the the pleasant exchange between the two of you. I liked her little kind of noticing your, your amulet thing. Um... I, just, I, don't, I don't know. I just enjoyed those little kind of moments. I, but yeah, it was it's good. I liked your like almost trying to look after Lykel moments of just kind of being in the room with him as he's trying to process everything at the start as well. It was quite good. Just as you're yeah. almost not shadowing him as such, but just being being present, present yeah. without 
like being like and being present is like difficult for you. Not a mobile phone to be seen. Um, yeah. Yes, that's good. Anything else, um, I mean, I mean, there's there's so much. Like the, the whole session was just great, but um, I mean, obviously the captain chatting with Demogesh was was brilliant. Um. The captain, uh, after hearing our brain chats going, uh, wait, is <laughs> like is verbally wait, tore a head off? You said verbally tore a head off. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it's it it just brilliant. Um, and query, hmm. I I've just enjoyed query being an absolute pain in the arse. <laughs> I mean, that's and just that's duking cool. is all. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I think his exact words were, uh, oh, I just left the assumptions up to you. Dick. Mm. Absolute dick. And yeah, that's it. That's my, that's my comment. Nice. Uh, thank you. And I'll say it again. I actually love this game. I don't hate it as <laughs> much as I've actually said that through, you know, most of the, the game. Honest, you could probably get a montage video of how many times you say that, to be honest, now. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Zora, then? Yeah. Yeah, fuck them, I guess. Mm. Uh, fuck MO. <laughs> fuck Query. <laughs> fuck the fuck police. Papa. Everybody. Yep. Fuck this game. <laughs> 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 uh, yep. There goes that one potential new viewer we had as well. Oh well. Sorry, Caleb. <laughs> um, or indeed, they never Caleb. made it to session 80. <laughs> Calibri. He could be our Calibri. <laughs> our, our guest Calibri. I can be your Caleb, baby. Um, yeah, um, that I got guest was a joy, as per. Um, nice. Um, I like Demo Gesh. I think he's a stand up guy. Like, I we can take him, boys. <laughs> we can take him, man. I liked his awkward like, laughing because he'd like, projected half into you, you know? Like, yeah. How informal <laughs> of us, you know, just complete, utter, like, yeah. It's a nod. It's a nod, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, the Americans don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, what else was that? I did enjoy Emma, though. Like, mm. uh, she'll be interesting to deal with. Mm. Um, yeah, I like her. Yeah. And what is Query all about? <laughs> oh, like, right. I feel like his name has been the most perfectly named character I've ever ran. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I kind of had a feeling like some last would happen eventually, I'm right? I just was it that shite? <laughs> I just didn't believe it. Mm. Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was, uh, the, the no was hilarious. That was great. Because oh, yeah. it was, I think, was it just no or was it like not really? I thought he said not really. I, I, I thought he said no. Right. Um, it was one of the two. I don't remember no. enough. Because I don't remember her exact I remember response being either. muted and bursting mm -hmm. out laughing mm -hmm. in real life. And I was like, oh. I can't mm. remember if it's not really or if it was just a long no. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> like, uh, no. <laughs> um, I thought it was like a, a no, but. I'll need to go back and clip that because that is funny. That was a funny scene. Um. We'll definitely go. Somebody, yeah. somebody clip that, please. Um, that'd be good. But yeah, the. We're good either, Yeah, yeah, good. Perfect. Fuck, that's me. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. I find it just hilarious how every conversation I have with Alice turns into like this moral like, sort of question. <laughs> the end of it. Is that right? <laughs> that's like, so silly. We probably could have like the Zora lessons episodes as well where we clip all those bits where it's just you imparting wisdom to Alice to make her the perfect Vesk soldier. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, if, if Nyx can become a bit Kasathan and become weird, Alice could maybe be a bit Vesk and become weirder. Uh, are you doing the Thin Lizzy joke? No. <laughs> You have a bit of Irish in you. Would you like to? No, I'm not doing that. Why would you even suggest this? Okay, uh, it's all right. I've done it now. Carry on, Zoro. Uh, no, no, I don't know. It was good fun. Hmm? Good yeah. fun. You actually configured the ranks, buddy. I know. Bro, fine. Yeah. Yep. One last. I don't know if that MDLs realised, but that means Alice outranks everybody but Zora. 
as well. Yeah, but on the other hand, also, yeah. I wouldn't want to do with shit bollocks. Yeah. I like, don't know. Commodore Chief Mystic Officer sounds pretty good. The burning. So. Yeah. <laughs> the burning. I'm pretty sure I this mean... was like the consensus of everybody when we were making the ranks as well. It's like, I could probably do something like that, right? <laughs> then, like, weird probably doesn't matter that. The problem is that when um, things go wrong, Weird cannot be yet, anyway, in the 20 places he probably would need to be in at the same time. Yet. <laughs> yeah, but he's halfway towards Apotheosis. So yeah, you, you're getting there, I mean, yeah. It's basically, like, we do everything on the ship that isn't flying it, mm -hmm. really. <laughs> so, Weird can't really do that. <laughs> we know it's not CC. I think we all just know. Yeah. It's not CC. Um, and it was like genuinely like a holy shit moment when me and Ryan were discussing it. I was like, holy shit. Like, she's like, is she bread. like technically, yeah, she did. She's just like the like, bread, like first officer almost. Mm -hmm. like, Given all the lessons she's been getting first hand <laughs> from the captain, yeah. And now Admiral, yep. Mm -hmm. That was good. We're just going to cut down the voice. Yeah. Uh, I suppose technically it's Nida without Ranker on her ship, not on the final hour. You know, captain versus first officer, or the it's first of the officers, well, sorry. The first of the officers. <laughs> <laughs> because, of course, Alice is weird. First um, among officers. Um, Womanizing. Anything else, sorry? Uh, oh, I like the, the Finn part. <laughs> she just gave him, like, a fucking <laughs> straight up silly, basically, basically gave her, like, an odd job to do. <laughs> she, like, got into it straight away. It's <laughs> like... Yeah, I think that <laughs> seems to happen a lot. No matter what rank she gets, it's just good to this, Alice. Okay. <laughs> Poor Alice. Yeah. Oh dear, that was good. I enjoyed oh, that. That was good. Oh, good. good, good, good. And la 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 Lyco. Lyco. The very good ghost. <laughs> oh yeah, that was nice. Um, mm -hmm. I noticed that, that, that everyone seems to have enjoyed my uh, random interactions with NPCs. Um, <laughs> It's nice. We we all had a bit of a little, in, uh, a bit of a little. Oh my lord, that's inelegant. Yeah, we everybody all had, had good interaction. Uh, yeah, in a small interaction with 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 a big bad, a little interaction with a big bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, Zora Zora having a, uh, joined up, joined forces with the uh, Grave Epoch Annihilator. Yeah, yeah. The Mogesh. <sighs> so. <laughs> Uh, also, obviously, we had an interaction with Emma O, or with an Emma O. Um, so that was interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so villains about query, for instance, mm. clearly up. To Maybe Emma P, Emma Q, Emma R. We don't know yet. Clones um. or Emma O was actually query disguise. <laughs> I used to keep on confusing Emma O with the lady from the Yeah Yeah Yes. Right, okay. But now I've forgotten her name. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I knew her name ever. So I can yeah. only think of M.O. I like the band. Um, what was... Who, what was... Alex, for some reason I assume you know this. <laughs> <laughs> I do not, unfortunately. Uh, um, so the AAS were the down. band that Tarantino heard in an airport when he was going to make Kill Bill, yes. right? So... Um, and it's the... Ooh, 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 that one, isn't it? So, Carano! Carano. Hence the thinking of her um, when I... Uh, I think I said this Emma. back at the time when Emma first turned up. I think I said I could have just used her had I known about her being called Karen Yeah, and she's I also... Had that conversation, yeah. She's also Asian, although she's extremely ethnically ambiguous. No, she's not Asian. She's just Asian-born. Right. She's a very ethnically ambiguous looking person. She's... She is part Korean. Oh, Korean I'm going to share this image anyway. in our general chat. Yeah, no, she's a very distinctive looking person. That could be an MO profile picture, right? She could, right? She could. That one there, she, the she, one I put in chat. That looks MO ish, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, she's, Just she's give very, her yeah. glassy, spiky death legs and <laughs> mm -hmm. you're, you're all good. Glassy, spiky death legs. Mm -hmm. Crystalline like mitts, for sure. Um, <laughs> crystalline mitts was, was hilarious. Uh, I really enjoyed Keep that. Keep your crystalline mitts off him. Um, yes, yeah, spooky. Keep your crystalline mitts off of me. Um, it, no, it was excellent. It was just a, a lovely little line. This looks uh, a bit like her and Edgar, um, which is interesting. Like the, I also I thoroughly enjoyed game. the fact that after after her going on about the various options and having repeatedly 
Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I can see that being Having those repeatedly two. come up with the uh, the possibility of using the uh, the the skate pods in some capacity that did end up being what mm -hmm. we did, mm -hmm. but through more legitimate means. So that was quite fun. There was a little bit of dramatic irony there, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it was nice. It was it was a lot of uh, a lot of interactions with NPCs. This turn was more like a, a, a more of a, a conversational like round table like, like we were going one you know there was a conversation between two and then another two within this mm -hmm. like combinations within the same sort of groups of people so that's quite interesting it's... we've we finally got looped in with alice again yeah that indeed. was cool she's she was fitting mm -hmm. that she's officially been given that sort of second man position because she has really been running the ships for a mm -hmm. while um, yeah, she's she's kind of like really upped her game, I think, since obviously she stepped in, obviously, to fill Emeline's shoes in terms of how she saw Emeline serving the captain, which I think was obvious. She did just step in to serve that, both from a mechanical game point of view by losing a player, uh, but also at the same time, her seeing the impact that would have had on the crew and trying to be like, well, there is a use now for me, so I'll be that use. Um, not replacing as such, but at least being useful to you guys, and she's... While she is convoluted is the best, the nicest way to put it sometimes. <laughs> um, I think for the most part she has been useful, and she's been good. I, um... So, yeah, like, I, I'm interested, because she obviously fills that sort of um, pilot niche. Mm -hmm. Like, is that was that by design? Like, because obviously it's a convenient thing to have in the background, regardless of how yeah, many so there are in the party. From a mechanical point of view, yeah, she just became the easy NPC pilot, right? Um, because I knew none of you had designed pilots, right? So from a mechanical point of view, it's not one that you used to need to take on piloting. But I'm glad some of you did dabble, right? A bit. It's just, it was convenient, right? That she'd stepped in as Emlyn had stepped out. So. It was mostly that from a mechanical point of view, but it's also just good from a role-playing point of view that her as a new crew member and not really feeling like part of the crew would try and just be useful. So, yeah, that was kind of my, my angle for her, being, you know, a former administrative AI program. Um, that was probably one of those scientists like Pet Project, right? Let's face it, she was probably just put on the station as an afterthought when it comes to the, you know, design of the place. It was probably never designed with her in mind initially, and then they made her to try and make the place run smoother. Hmm. Well done, then. <laughs> so yeah, that was, um, it was an interesting, like, as I say, it was like the round table format almost, where it was like, uh, you, you know, these two have a conversation, and then this one of the, has a conversation with this one, and then this one, other one has a conversation with it was It was like, there's sort of like, a little group of people having varied interactions sort of within them, among themselves. Um, mm. Which, uh, it lends a bit of a different flavor because quite often we're sort of you know one or two of us are off doing one thing the others are doing another but really we were mostly in the same place talking to mostly the same people um the mind link kind of thing helps it. right as well narratively it 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 the scope makes... that gives is good zig has finally done a, a brain thing that's really good um, yeah that's not, yeah. not had any awful repercussions yet i like to touch on um, like, your conversation with babak was fun to have because of how Babak seems to be descending down the ranks of professional attitude towards you. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, like I, I like that he at least has enough trust in 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 Lyco to to just sort of you know don't fuck this up now. Go, <laughs> you well, know, because we like, did I speak think, about think, your record, right? We spoke about that Lyco was good at his job, right? Yeah, like he was definitely good at what he did. He get obviously caught off guard in a situation that was kind of beyond him anyway, and that's what ended yeah. your career. Um, Lyco was. A pretty standard steward who is pretty successful. And me, you know, the sort of person who'd have been on their way up if their career hadn't been cut short. Mm -hmm. um, and he definitely still respects the institution, even if he doesn't always find himself on the right side of the laws it enforces. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, like he he did, he just you know he was like a a level one character that found himself up against. Mm -hmm. A much higher level character. I think who you hit the nail on the head with Babak's attitude to you, right? Like his, um, it is your respect for the law and the stewards and everything that Babak sees in you, even if he knows you're willing to bend or maybe break some of them in certain yeah. places. Well, he's, as you keep saying, he is very much, uh, he is very much a sort of noir character where he's like upholding the law and protecting, you know, the innocent and etc. etc. But 
nonetheless is willing to break the law in the process of trying to uphold it, right? Mm-hmm. It's um he he he's not someone who maybe has the strongest eh, strongest ethical compass himself, but certainly is trying to look out for other people and maybe stop people who really are very very bad. Like who doesn't have to feel like he's a hero. Like who doesn't need to feel like he's the good guy. But he does have a sort of instinct to more or less do the right thing, and he generally is sort of temperamentally disinclined to like people like Mm -hmm. Emma O. It's not even necessarily an ethical qualm, it's just he instinctively just, Mm -hmm. he he doesn't like her. He doesn't like her. It's not anything too intellectualized. It's it's, it's, it's very like like instinct based, right? I like that. I like that a lot with the like, I don't think you while it might have been interesting to see what you would have spoke about, I think it was a much better scene. With you just saying, uh, no, and her being like, fine. I, as yeah, you were like, trying to like diplomatically salvage that, she was just yeah. like, fine, bye. But like the first instinct was to say no as well. Mm-hmm. No, I'm pleased with how that turned out. Oh, me too. Because the thing that occurred to me at the time was like, I did want to say yes, but he's not got the time for that and he mm-hmm. doesn't like her, so what the fuck's he gonna say? Exactly. But yeah, like he's he's not he's not really uh He's not someone who's who's dedicating a whole lot of time thinking about the ins and outs of why he feels the way he does about certain things. Like, you know, if you had to look at his stats, he's a, a plus one in int. He's mm-hmm. not an idiot. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's also not really intellectually inclined. He hasn't given that much thought to why he has the views that he has in a lot of cases beyond in terms of like the immediate evidence for things but like in terms of grander scope stuff like was not sitting around wondering why the, the stewards are valuable or why aspis is such a dreadful thing to even though he was willing to work with them why he never liked or trusted them. Uh-huh. um so yeah it was interesting that was good. Uh, obviously of course we had an interesting little nod from the man who's typing now um <laughs> to the previous conversations and previous interactions between him and Emma O. Uh, speaking of two people who instinctively dislike each other. Um, I say typing. <laughs> um, Maybe sleeping. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not, I, I put one laptop on top of the other. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> yep, that's okay. I just thought it would hit like the next coding that came up. And it was like three, 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 four, 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 four. Yep, well. it's good. Uh, that uh, was beautiful. Anything else, Michael? Uh, I, think, I think that ends my. Yeah. That's end, oh, here perfect. Ends the lesson. That was good. I thank you, everybody. That was actually a super that's fun sweet. session. I was. Thank it you. was really good. I got to showcase some of the fun characters to be in certain conversations. To be honest. Um, Mostly because I love Alice to bits. I love Demogesh. I love any time the captain tries to speak to Alice because it's so funny. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's just, it always does end up this weird mentor mentee relationship with them. And I think it's great. I love it. Um, I think you need to teach her how to use a Doshko. That would, be, that would make my day. Um, <laughs> but we'll see how but that it's, goes. It's simple. Mm-hmm. I mean, you for, you, for you. For you. <laughs> Yeah, but Alice it doing that is about it. ten extra steps, right? Um, <laughs> and then obviously if you give CC a small one as well, so you can practice too, you could get your, your you know, your your new age vest. Yeah, like six of them, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like six Oscars. Just let him scream at somebody and run at them. <laughs> um, but yes, thanks everybody for playing. It was super fun. A shout out Bye, to uh, the homie Caleb for joining us. That was fun. Um, welcome to the madness. En- enjoy that. If you do f- decide to catch up, good luck to you. It's, it's a fucking ride. The best of luck. Um, and Godspeed. And every other You'll Godspeed, yeah. Um, but yes, goodbye, everybody, and goodbye. Twitch. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. Bye.